Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, welcome in to our first session of uh, Kingdom Hearts Malefic Road. Oh boy, Yahoo! boy, boy. Hey, we're here uh, with our usual, what, how long? <laughs> 10 plus minutes starting up. It's not that bad <laughs> compared to what we normally do. Uh, but hey, for those who are new here, um, this is uh, Zero XP. For those who don't know, uh, we are a D and D uh, type of channel that currently has two series going on right now, which we have Fake the uh, Fate Secret Order, uh, and our currently new campaign. We're starting today, Kingdom Hearts Malefic Road. Woo! Uh, <laughs> uh, for Kingdom Hearts, we will be primarily streaming it every other Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time until future notice. Uh, and for this game of Kingdom Hearts, uh, for those who are fans, you do not have to worry about any type of continuity with the Kingdom Hearts franchise. There's no real connection to any separate timelines or anything from the main series. We're just doing our own thing. You may see like a lot of references, but there's no connection to anything towards the actual Kingdom Hearts series. Um, so don't uh, try and compare and contrast between you know the franchise and what's going on because they just will not have any type of connection whatsoever. Uh, there are a few things that we got. We'll let you guys know. Um, when it comes to the what's the system that we're using, it's gonna be five E. But a lot of this stuff, if not most of it, will be completely homebrewed. Everything I homebrewed myself. Uh, when it comes to the classes they'll be using, the enemies, the items, everything like that, uh, I did on my own. Uh, and if you are interested when it comes to any of the homebrew that's going on in the game right now, I do have a Patreon. We'll have everything on there. You can check it out right there. Uh, if you are so interested. Um, we also have a system when it comes to our bits. Um, if you were to give bits to the channel, uh, it become in-game currency for the party. Looks like my summer vacation. Oh, my God. Oh. Aqua. Oh my God. Aqua, thank you, Aqua, for the welcome raid. in, Raiders. Speaking of our campaign, this, that's Aqua. Give a quick shout out to Aqua. She's one of our players in our fake campaign. Thank you, Aqua. I hope you had a fun uh, Final Fantasy XIV stream. Um, but as I was saying, for the bit system, you guys can, if you guys were to donate bits, you can make it in-game currency for the party. You can either give one character a specific amount, or you can split it between everybody. Uh, any way you see fit, just let us know in chat and we'll go from there. Um, and when we do play our games, we try to not talk to chat. We try not to acknowledge chat so we can stay, you know, within the game. We can stay concentrated. Um, you may see the players type in chat and speak with you. But other than that, we, we try to primarily concentrate on the game itself. Um, but with that all said and done, I think we can just quickly go and introduce each player and then we can start the game. So, let's start off with one of our veteran players, Captain Freestar. If you go to introduce yourself. Hello, hello. Uh, God, why are you making me go first? I don't like this. You've been here the longest. I don't like this. I'm, I'm an old dog. I got no new tricks. Uh, hi, I'm Captain Freestar, otherwise known as Tisha, and I play Juno. I don't know what else. You don't want to talk about your own personal channel? You have your own oh channel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, my name is Captain Freestar, <laughs> variety okay. streamer and VTuber. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I stream on Twitch, uh, and I do, like I said, a variety of things. It's nice to meet you all. All right, cool, cool. Let's go. I'll just go down the order I can see on things. So, we're going to go with Essie. Um, my. I was drinking boba, okay. Uh, hi, my name's Essie Opal. I'm a Fennec Fox Fallen Star VTuber and variety streamer, part of a VTuber group called Prismaria! Akla and Yuzuki are part of Prismaria too, and another bozo in this group too. Um, <laughs> I'm so, so... Oh, I play Fiore. His name's Fiore. Oh. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good. You're doing great. Um, this is my only, like, second time playing D&D, &D, and I literally kind of just started the first one I've done, so... I'm a bit of a newer player, but I'm really, really excited, and I, I, I can't wait. Okay, next person. All right, good job. Good, 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 good. Uh, you know, let's go with the bozo. Freya, go ahead. What the hell? Say no, Freya, 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 Freya,
everybody. My name is Freya Rabbit. Uh, I S S E. That bozo over there said I am also part of Prismaria. Um, with Yuzuki and Aqua as well. Uh, <laughs> I play Daichi. Daichi is uh, a character that I've had forever, and I keep making different iterations of him. So I hope uh, he can bring happiness and joy to everybody here. Hmm. Sorry for my baby voice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, uh, Aerie, go ahead. Uh, hello, my name is Aerie. I'm playing the character Dawn. I'm surprisingly a VTuber like everyone else. <laughs> I'm currently playing Dragon's Dogma and nothing else on my streams. It is my first time playing D&D, &D, but it's not my first time playing TTRPGs. Nice, nice. I'm going to go with our last and final player, Cody. Hi, I'm Curry. I'm a physically mute streamer who's mostly known for creating all their own assets like emotes, overlays, video editing, graphic design, motion graphics, and the art and rigging for my own VTuber model. This is my second ever D&D campaign similar to SC, but it's okay we have been trained and tempered in the fires of Baldur's Gate, and that's about the extent of our D&D education, but we will see what we can do. Mm -hmm. So true, Cody. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> So... so true, bestie. <laughs> Should I... we, um, what? sorry. Should we also go around and say our pronouns just to make sure that they're like yeah, yeah, yeah. all clear? That's true. Yeah. Oh my um, god, Aqua. Oh my the god. Fuck. Aqua, I think our we're going to get this characters. Um, um, maybe both. Maybe both, yeah. Just so that, Thank that you, Aqua, for the five gifted, by the way. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Um, so, Captain Free Star here with Juno. I am uh, go by she, her pronouns, and so does my character. Um, me next? Yeah, we're just going the same. Let's go in the same order we do. Oh, same way. Okay, yeah. okay. Hi, this is SC. I go by any pronouns. You literally can't mess up. Oh my gosh. Simple, easy. Fiore. Oh, yeah, Fiore. Fiore. What is his stuff, girl? <laughs> What's his pronoun? pronouns? pronouns are he, him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got, I'm so nervous. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're, it's fine. Like, you're doing fine. You're, you're doing, doing great. Good. You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> Freya, what's about you? Uh, Bozo here. It's me, Freya. Uh, I go by she, her, but then she goes by he, him. All right. Aerie? Uh, my pronouns are they, them, but Dawn goes by she, her. And Cody. Me and Sion are she slash they, but that's just a placeholder for me to say we really don't care or mind. But I don't think I introduced myself. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm the, I'm the DM. Um, hey, everybody, what's up? My name is Maltzy. Uh, I'm the DM. I'm the head DM of Zero XP. Also the DM over uh, with Fate, Secret Order. Uh, I typically go by he slash him. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, but I guess, uh, like a lot of the players here said, some of the some of them are the first time playing D and D, and since the last of his homebrew, uh, there's gonna be a lot of times probably where we're gonna like pause so they can understand like uh, the mechanics of the game uh, and try to figure out like what exactly they're doing. So it's gonna be a bit of a uh, a learning curve in the beginning, but eventually I'm sure we'll no, get. No, I'd win. No, you wouldn't. And so I'm sure we'll get uh, <laughs> figure it out eventually, and. As we say, yeah, Cootie, uh, again, is mute. So uh, we're trying to figure that out uh, in game. So again, be patient with us with how we're going to, to attempt to handle that. Um, but with all of that said and done, we can start the game. Let me get some music for us. Uh, oh, here we go. Let me know if it's too loud for you guys. Okay, so this, we open our game in a small town, which is hugging the idyllic, uh, idy uh, idyllic coast of the island, perched over the turquoise waves that lap pleasantly against the golden sand. Docks on the island extend outward, by which all the manner of delicious food and exotic drink, or mysterious uh, delicacies arrive there. Boats bob lazily in the water while fishers cast their nets, bringing in food for an eventual feast. It is 10 minutes to 8 a.m. 
and the date is July 10th, 2045 RE, and the train station on Destiny Island was unusually quiet. On an average day, the commotion in the station creates a constant roar. People move around, their footsteps clicking against the wooden flooring. Folks at the station speak to one another on their phones. Trains rattle and wind in and out of the station with hissing brakes, bells, and clicking lights direct them. But today, it was nothing like that with the exception of one red-headed young man with a bag over his shoulder and a bright smile on his face as he looks down at a plastic card that he received in the mail just short a month ago that has the name Daichi printed on it. Man, this is... We've been spreading these images around for the whole month. I'm gonna do it again. This is who is standing there. This is our boy. The good boy. The good boy, Daichi! Here he is. So, uh, Freya. How would you uh, explain how Daichi's feeling right now? He's pretty excited, you know? This is something that he's been excited for for so long. He's just got so much energy and he doesn't really know how to express it other than puffing out his chest and walking around excitedly and trying not to be overexcited in public, but it's not working very well. Yeah, right with that. Um... Daichi, you would... As I said before, this is really strange. He typically would see uh, a lot of commotion going on uh, at, the, uh, the tr at the station, but doesn't seem like no one's there. He's been standing there for about, I'd say, uh, about 20 minutes um, with no type of like human in sight. No one working there, it just seems completely empty, a ghost town, making Daichi wonder if he showed up on the right day or not. Oh yeah, he sure is looking around and kind of peeking around every corner. Uh, did, did I did I get the date wrong? Uh. And as he looks around confused, uh, and he's looking up and down the train track, uh, so like every other minute, due to his excitement and anxiousness, um, eventually Daichi would hear uh, a loud whistle in the distance, and looking down the tracks. He see a massive engine decked out in iron and brass fittings uh, rest upon several dozen iron wheels, all connected with glimmering brass coupling rods. Though the engine undoubtedly weighs a ton, the wheels have been delicately aligned along the sturdy iron rails sitting atop these wooden ties. And behind the enormous engine, you'll see these cab cars, hundreds of feet long and dozens of feet high, sport several sliding doors along each side, indicating no less than five de decrete levels with this segment of unconventional train's long, multi-jointed body. With steam oh. puffing out, the engine suddenly emits another loud whistle, easily heard from miles away, and the wheels begin to spin in earnest to stop. But, the train is not a, not uh, one that Daichi can recognize that he typically sees at the station. This train was colored in a dark purple uh, coloration with yellow intricate detail that has decoration of stars and moons all across the machine. And the most unusual design would be at the front of the train, at its tip looks to be designed as a wizard's hat. The doors would slide oh. open to the cab car in front of Daichi for him to enter. Does he do oh, so? Boy. He looks around, uh, once again. He, he looks over the train and he looks left, he looks right. He tries to peek. Are there any windows? Yes, there are. He's gonna try to peek in the window and see if he sees anything of note. He looks inside and he just sees a uh, very fancy and furnished uh, seat. Uh, for him to sit down in long lanes and you see like a, you know, you can see at the very end of the of the, the cart and you'll see doors linked up to both the front and the back going forward towards a different uh, section of the train. Um, but inside, he doesn't see anyone there. Huh. Well, adventure's awaiting and he'll take a step. He, he very, like, he stretches out his whole leg before he steps onto the train. 
And once he's on, he'll he'll start looking around for the first human he can see. All right. He walks inside, and again, this is a complete ghost town. And he'll, I would assume he'll just like walk around trying to see like if he can find anybody. And he'll look uh, at the very front of the 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 cab of this uh, section of the train, and looking through the door that has like a little small glass window, he can see what looks to be the uh, to the engine room where they control the train. And you can even see like the seat, the front seat, the per what person would be at, and you see no one there. But you'll see the the lever of the train move on his own. And when doing so, the doors will close behind you. And the train will give a loud whistle as you can see it begin to go into motion forward. Is this, is, uh, <laughs> he's just flabbergasted. He's like, is this magic? Who knows? Uh, sorry, I'm changing the music. I want to make it too loud. There we go. Uh, so, with that, uh, Daichi, I'm sure, like, when it happens, he's, like, trying to, like, try not to fall off and, like, trip as the train's, like, suddenly going into motion. Um, he, like, lands into one of the seats, back braced against it, trying to hold on as the train rattles and moves smooth forward and after traveling a bit uh i would daichi look out the window as it's uh the train's moving oh definitely it's probably glued to the window looking out and seeing everything you can see all right when looking out the window after traveling away from the the station daichi would see that as the further they get away from the island it looked as if the train was Moving towards complete darkness. Uh, oh. Looking forward, all you see is a dark abyss. I mean, you're looking back towards uh, the station, your island, your home. It's like the whole entire place is being engulfed in pitch blackness. And eventually, Destiny oh. Island is no longer in sight. But. Is this what it's like to travel outside of your home world? He's like blown away hmm. and also a little bit scared <laughs> oh but the black emptiness will soon be dotted with these silvery silvery yellow pinpricks of light and you take in more of the view your vision pans down and you see an enormous blue greenish orb below the train surrounding by a faint new uh, nimbus of reflected light and with a monstrous lurch in your gut, you realize that you are looking down at your own world. Oh, some, oh that's weird. Some unimaginable distance below you, meaning you must be somewhere else entirely. What looks to be space itself. <laughs> and with that, Daichi, the train just continues onward. Just, Keep motioning forward. Well, As oh, been sorry. Here for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. If you're gonna also say that, I'm gonna try my best to not interrupt you guys. Ollie. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to not do that sometimes. Um, but I'll say about 20 or so minutes pass as Daiji just, at this point, is a little bit more comfortable with the train ride. He's been sitting there for a while. Nothing new really is happening. Um. But he'll notice that the uh, the surrounding area, the space-like environment, starts to slowly change now, uh, and his like everything around him, the the uh, environment becomes much different. It's like magically, just like within a second, it just transitions over to like a completely different type of view, to where the train would be approaching a much more modern town in comparison to Destiny Island, uh, a city less bright. Uh, with no bright sun or tropical sensation that the island gives off. But it looks similar to a Victorian age town in terms of design and layout. The train gives a loud, it gives a loud whistle as it stops in front of said city uh, of this new station. And the doors will open up and uh, Daichi would instead see one person standing there. Uh, and I will share the picture now. 
This is who we see standing at the at the station, excluding the keyblade in her hand. There she is! There she is. Um so Ari, do you mind describing how Dawn would react to the, the train? Uh Dawn would kind of look around and note that it is one minute earlier. It was very strange. Uh, and as she sees it pull up of all the trains and the cars, she'll let out just a small sigh um, and then say, This is really outside my tax bracket, I think. Taxes? Thinking about <laughs> taxes? <laughs> it's so fancy. I thought they were just going to call a cab or something. Dawn, I'm assuming, would step inside of the train um, when doing yeah. so. Uh, she'll see, just like Daichi beforehand, see no one else there but him uh, sitting in, in one of the chairs of the train, and when that happens, the door closes behind her, uh, and she'll feel the train begin to go into motion once again. Oh. <gasps> She's gonna <laughs> look at him, <laughs> squint, and then just go to the furthest away seat she can. <laughs> he like watches as she leaves, and he's got like the sparkliest <laughs> eyes ever. And then she, she walks is away. ignoring it as much as she can. <laughs> uh, Daishi will get up and walk to her seat and sit directly beside her. No, he won't sit down. He'll he'll stand beside her and uh, just very excitedly be like, "Hi, sorry, uh." I couldn't help that you walked onto this uh, very empty train with just one other person here. Did you not see me standing or sitting over there in that, in, that, in that chair? Oh, no, I did. I just didn't really want to sit next to you or around you. Oh. But here I am. <laughs> here you are! <laughs> and he'll, he'll put out his hand and say, I'm Daichi! Nice to meet you! You are... My my name is Dawn, I, unless it's changed, but I don't think it has. Hi, Daichi. <laughs> nice are to you, meet you, Dawn, unless it's changed. Are you gonna stand there the entire trip? Uh, or... Uh, well, could I sit beside you? I think it would be rude to say no. <laughs> Thanks! You'll take a seat beside her. I didn't really say yes, though. Oh, well. Uh, too late! <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna just slowly turn towards the window. <laughs> <laughs> it's really isn't it? I, I don't know about you, but I've never traveled outside of Destiny Island, so this is all very, very new to me. W what about you? Yeah, it's new to me as well. I haven't really... Well, I've been here for a while. Oh. How long is a while? Five years. Five years? Hold on, you cut out. Five years? Five years. That's a long time. I've been at my place for 21 years. Is that your age, or were you somewhere else before? Uh, no, that's my age. Oh. Wait, did I It's weird that you've age? come to this town. Not many people come here. Well, I mean, the train goes where it wants to, I guess. I guess. Where is the final destination, by the way? Do you know? Uh... Do I know, Multi? I have no clue! But I'm sure we're in for a great time! I'll hold you to that, then. <laughs> <laughs> they both look away awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> he'll just go on talking like he'll just if 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 she's not gonna stop him he's just gonna go on talking about all of his childhood friends and stuff i'm so sorry oh, yeah, Chi. <laughs> his like imaginary friends that he had when he was five years old yeah. <laughs> oh he did say the thing he did he did he did bitches <laughs> 
say the line, Dyson. Yeah, that's right. Adventures the wait, Dyson. I actually think it's not adventure waiting. It's probably our destination. <laughs> Why not both? Mm, I guess it could be a place called adventure. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. And so as you guys are traveling, um. Don, you would have saw exactly what Daichi saw if you looked out the window. How, like, initially you see the the town that you were that you lived in for a good bit, all start to disappear into like a black abyss, and now you just see yourself traveling in space. Uh, what looks to be space um, for a good bit, uh, along with this hyperactive uh, young adult, just going on and on and on. <laughs> and I'm sure uh, Don doesn't really stop them; just keep let them talk um, until I'll say. Another 20 or so minutes would pass um, while the two of you are there. And you'll see, again, the, the space-like environments just transition uh, with your vision all becoming differently. This time it feels like you guys are just above this, uh, this almost looks to be a floating island. Um, and what you see uh, looks to be something told from a child fairy tale. You see a glorious view of a, of a large pink pastel colored castle in the distance with the wall, with a large wall surrounding the town sitting below uh, said castle that was, that's filled with trees, grass, and flowers. And outside the wall, you see what looks to be an ocean. Um, but this ocean, it wasn't colored blue or green or any such thing, but instead a bright pink. And That's a lot of pink. <laughs> I love Daishi. So like, the trade transitions. You'll see it kind of like it's kind of like it's in the air, almost like it's flying. And you'll see it kind of like there's like a nose dive, like in a roller coaster. And it'll rush for rush downward, and it'll give a very hard and heavy stop, almost flanking you guys forward. And with another loud whistle. You hear the doors open uh, to the train, but this time you don't see one person getting to the train. You see two people getting to the train. <laughs> Both of them are coming in from two different doors. Uh, you see this young man coming from the door furthest down. Let's just get a good picture, of everybody. There he is. Um, side. And you'll see uh, one woman about two doors down walk inside. Doo doo. So I guess let's start with the young man. How would he react as he's walking into the train? Essie. Well, before he walks into the train, he's going to take out from his pocket his totally not pink Motorola razor and take a picture of the train for safekeeping for the future. Because he must remember this train, there's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. Um, he ignores everything else, like, just so nonchalantly gets on the train and... Honestly, he just finds a seat, crosses his legs, props his elbow against the little sill under the window and just looks out and waits. <sighs> what about Juno? Start. Juno walks out and sees the train and she's like, Ugh, how gaudy, I guess. And she'll get out her fantasy iPod <laughs> touch and put in uh, the music as she walks onto the train and also finds an empty scene looking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what bright people we have here. <laughs> Fiora makes up for it. I mean, she makes up for it. <laughs> Don, Don's gonna turn over to Daichi and be like, Don't you want to go talk to those people now? It was very exciting. Don't you want to get away from me? He immediately goes to Fiore first, uh, since he walks onto the train first, and he sits beside him and he's like, Hey! Oh, sorry, it looks like you just rolled out of bed. Uh, are you. Do you have everything? Did you have to run here? Fiore turns to him. And he looks him up and down, 
up and down. Ready, and the corner of his mouth turns up in kind of a disgusted way. Oh. And he says, Sorry, I don't have any change. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was saying at all. I was That's just, what they all I say. Mean, <laughs> I mean, look at you. You just like your your shirt's untucked. You, your hair looks kind of messy. I was just I I just thought that maybe you had a difficult time getting out of bed in the morning. I just So you want to give me the change? No. <laughs> What? There's no change in Well, since in this. you think I'm obviously so unkempt. $5. Five dollars. <laughs> huh? Five dollars. For what? Insulting me. Huh? I wasn't trying to insult you. Well, you did really... a bad job at not doing it. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't have five dollars to give. I'm really sorry. Uh, can I can I give you something else instead, like a, a compliment? Sure, go ahead. What do you have for me? Um, he looks him over. Your face looks really soft. <laughs> Skincare routine five thousand. You should try it yourself when you have enough change. Oh, okay. So you wouldn't let me borrow any? That's fine. Uh. Can I, can I touch it? <laughs> no. Okay, sorry. I don't know what came over me. Uh, anyway, I'm Daichi. Who are you? Daichi. You're Daichi too? No, I'm repeating your name because it sounds stupid. <laughs> I think a lot sounds stupid, don't you? No, I feel like... The sound of a gentle breeze is quite beautiful. I find the rhythmical sound of instruments, harps, flutes, <sighs> even guitar. Get the <laughs> hell away from me. Go bug <laughs> that sorry, person sorry, you were sorry. sitting beside before. <laughs> no, hold on. Sorry. I just want to know what your name is. Fiore. Fiore. Okay, nice to meet you. Are you also going to the same place we are? Who knows? If so, I, I wouldn't see why there. you would be going there. Oh. Huh? I don't want to be stuck with you. Oh. <laughs> Get the hint. Scram. There's so many other people to look at. Or ask for change from. I'm not going to ask for change! Oh That's my god, okay. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. Daichi will probably stand up and go over to Juno instead. But this time he hesitates. He doesn't quite sit down. He wants to, uh, but he <laughs> clearly has not had much luck so far. Uh, and goes, uh, hi! <laughs> she looks over at him. H Howdy! <laughs> Can you, uh, <laughs> my name's Daichi. Who are you? He's staring at him for a moment. Uh, hello? He waves a, a hand in front of her face. Uh, she pulls out her airpod. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you're listening to music. Uh, hi! <laughs> uh, I'm Daichi. Who are you? Um, Juno. Juno, okay, nice to meet you. Is this your first time adventuring too? Mm. I'm sorry, are you a cop? Uh, no! I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just a kid, just like, uh, the rest of us here. I mean, kid's a broad term for, uh, someone who's inexperienced in traveling around, uh, So you're I don't a know. tall child. <laughs> well, I would, I mean, some people say that, but I wouldn't put it that way. I, sorry, we, I started off on the wrong foot. I just, I just wanted to say hi. Oh, okay. Um, hello. <laughs> uh, one more question. Where, where is this place that we stopped at? Where are you from? Uh, those are two different questions. Oh. Okay, the first one then. For both. I imagine this is just one of the stopping points in the worlds, right? 
So which world is this? Hmm. Are you... Hmm. She seems to think for a moment. You're not a cop, right? Are you like in, 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 in like a news, writing a newspaper or you just... No, no, no. Uh, actually, between you and me, and he leans in a little bit closer, I break the law all the time. Oh, righteous. All right. Well, uh, um, this is Radiant Garden. Radiant Garden? Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've heard of Radiant Garden. Lumpy. Yes, it is. Oh. It, it looks very pink. You're very not very much not pink. Yeah, that's true. Did not like it, but you know, after all, we're leaving, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Good point. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, I think. Uh -huh. here I'll exchange a question since you asked me a question. Uh, -huh. uh where are you from? Oh, easy, just to the island. Uh, Born and raised. And never left? Never left. This is my first time. Is this your first time leaving? No. Oh! But suddenly things are making a lot more sense. What does that mean? You... How do I put this nicely? You have the feeling of a small town kid. Oh, is that a good thing? We'll see. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, I mean, in the, at the end of the day, I guess you can't really change who you are, but, uh, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for, uh, answering my questions. Yeah. Thanks. It's nice to meet you, I guess. Anyways. Yes. You better sit down before you fall over. <laughs> Radio! And he's gonna go sit back down next to Don. <laughs> <laughs> Don looks over at him, having watched both encounters, and goes, You don't really have good social skills, do you? It seems like a lot of people don't like you. <laughs> well, Shit. this is much different from where I am, where I'm from, so let me tell you. <sighs> it's hard out here. Uh, it's better than it being soft out here, because then everything would squish under you. Don, you're really good at jokes, aren't you? It wasn't a joke. Do you do you uh, wish it to, it to be squishy? The train no, would collapse no. on us. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, it's it's rough out here. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 difficult. It like sandpaper. Y yeah, it's like walking around and sitting on on sandpaper. Yep. I actually find the chair very comfortable. Thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> so as the train moves, <laughs> keeps it goes forward. Um, you, uh, as the other two, as I explained to before, that you would see the environment completely start to change, and you see yourself just like in this big open space environment type of deal. Um, uh, and for Daichi and Dawn, since you guys are here already beforehand, the. The train doesn't stop. Like, it doesn't um, take another, like, 20 minutes, go to another stopping point. It just continues going forward uh, for a much longer time. So, I think close to, like, 40 minutes. It's just still moving. It doesn't seem like it has any type of stopping or any type of destination it's going towards. Um, but eventually, I say with an additional 20 minutes, you'll notice that the tracks to the train begin to rise upwards to in the distance you look and see the fire what looks to be an illuminated stained glass pillar that has seemed to have risen from the unseen depths of this large open space with an intense blue light shining down onto the large platform you guys have this unusual feeling uh, this place has a much greater importance in comparison to the last few towns that you guys stopped at. Um, and in doing so, and your preparations, when the train finally gets close enough 
you'll see that it'll stop in front of said platform and the doors will only one door will open up for you guys to exit uh do you guys know what this place is no no idea whatever Considering uh, there's no one waiting, I'm guessing this is our last stop. Oh. But what if we get off and then it's not the last stop? And we've just stopped here because someone's late to the party. Then we'll drag them on the train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like we have a conductor or anything. I guess. Uh, she's gonna go to the door and peek out and see if he sees anyone a little any, anyone close by you look outward and all you see is this large circular platform uh, it looks completely like just overshadowed by this, uh, this layered darkness to where you can't even see like what the platform looks like what's on it or anything like that that's all you can all you can see is a big circular uh like a big circular pla uh, that platform sort of thing but just pretty much a big circular type of placement and around it nothing else complete space damn huh. it doesn't look like a world it sure doesn't you already will uh well, him and Dicey are gonna do the same thing because Fiori doesn't give an F and he's just he's gonna go for it. Alright, Daichi will also just jump out onto it. When the two yeah. of you both jump out and you step onto it, you would see uh, the ground beneath your feet uh, start to transform into this, these white doves that fly into your face out of nowhere that swarms around this large a uh, circular glass platform and as the doughs fly up in the air and fly into the abyss of space it'll show this radiant light that slowly reveals what you're standing on um, the surface seems to be blackish white in color and the majority of it shows what looks to be a black haired girl around your age with her eyes closed um, she seems to be wearing a white purple dress with small white wings attached to her back while holding a large scythe and surrounding the girl's head and feet were small pictures of other people. Each of these people are figures that, at least one of each of these people are figures that each of you know. Um, oh. To which, let me quickly type. I'll let you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll let me type it to you guys to so leave it a more secret, secret. Juno will step out. Man, that was such a nice darkness. Shame. Mm -hmm. This is all a bit creepy. I don't really want to step on someone's face. Don will exit though. Yes, Juno has also exited. <laughs> yeah, Don will exit as soon as she realizes um, the face that she recognizes. Uh... There we go. Mm. Juno will head towards the face that she recognizes. You do as so. will okay. as sorry okay. as will Fiore. Um, but when he sees the face that he recognizes, his legs go shaky and he feels like he almost can't move to the point where, even for someone like him, when he gets to the photo, he just falls on his hands and his knees and and like shakily reaches out a hand to try and pick up the photo. Um, Fiore, are you okay? He doesn't answer. I don't think we should be here. 
I think the fact uh, that they have people that we know, I'm assuming, means that this is our destination. Otherwise, why would they have this information about us? Daichi looks over at um, the picture that he recognizes and looks at it quizzically for a second, but ends up going to Fury's side to kneel down beside him and try to help him up. Is the train still there? The train is still there. Don's gonna open. walk back to the train. <laughs> <laughs> I think this way. is all just one cruel joke, and I, I don't want to stay here for it. Uh. Huh. It certainly is something, anyway. And. Uh... As you guys, as the dawn walks back, you guys will hear a voice go, No, you all are right where you belong. And looking, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> looking, <laughs> and, and appearing on the platform, you see this like, almost like this weird portal, this blackish purple portal just appear in front of all of you guys. Uh... And walking out of it, you will see this figure uh, looks to be hunchback, holding a brown cane. And this entire face and body is covered by a brown uh, robe with a brown hood covering uh, their face completely. Uh, who are you? The figure just walks, kind of ignores your question, and walks, uh, walks a big circle around all of you guys as if he's like looking up, looking at you guys up and down, and goes, Ugh, I've been waiting for this time. A foretold vision I've seen centuries ago. Do these people. Are you familiar with them? I mean... Are you a cop? <laughs> Never seen them before in my life. I have. How did you get a photo of him? The man stops. And he points his cane at you, Fiore. I didn't. This picture came from the depths of your heart. Fiore just scowls. And he seems almost disappointed, but he'll finally get up and actually give a nod to Daichi, because he does appreciate that Daichi was worried about him. Um, <laughs> and just almost like glares at the man, but doesn't say anything more. The man with his head would quickly turn to Dawn, like, like whiplash, just like, I don't know, looks at her, points his cane at her. You can try and hide how you feel, but... And he points at the glass where the photo is that she'd recognize and go, me and you both know, you recognize who this is. You can't hide it. All right, magic man. I'm not agreeing to anything. But I'm gonna leave. That looks, is okay. <laughs> he looks at the train as it's still stationary and he goes, Looks to me the train doesn't want to leave just yet now, does it? I didn't know you could speak train. It just kind of looks like it sat there to me. Well, Dawn, if you want to go inside the train, you can. Oh, all right. <laughs> she just walks over to it <laughs> and gets in. Like, something tells me that you're going to be waiting there the whole time. Also, he knew your name. Mm. Uh, to be fair, he appeared from nothing. I'm not really going to question things right now about this. <laughs> What if this really is our destination? 
the old man, he just, as you guys are just speaking one another, you see him still, well, he starts to walk again. Slowly going towards where the uh, picture of the Lara, where the, where the girl is with the scythe. And you see he'll tap his cane on top of it and go, If she wants to go inside, you can let her. No matter where she tries to hide and go. She's already connected by the threads of fate. Her destiny is already set in motion. And... In oh, good. Can you stop talking in riddles? None of us understand what you're saying. He taps the picture of the girl and goes... This girl... You will soon encounter her. At your destination at the Academy. She is connected to all of you. If you want your desires, your wishes to come true, you have one goal, and that is to help protect this girl. In these people. Oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. And these, these people nope. who are connected to your hearts, you will undoubtedly see them again. We will? You'll see he nods his head. How do you know that? <laughs> I have seen many things, both the past, the future, the outcomes. If you actually go down this path, I guarantee you it'll happen. You guarantee without any doubt if I protect whoever this girl is, then I'll see him again. I wouldn't lie to you. Fiore just looks him down, just like he did Daichi, up and down, up and down. And then, without a second thought, goes, then where do we go from here? You meet her at the school that we're all headed towards now. And in doing so, learn from them. Learn how to get stronger as key bearers and learn your place in this universe. As I said before, he looks at Dawn. Each of you, including this girl, are connected to one another by the threads of fate. And you'll see him hold his hand out, and in a flash of light, something you guys all recognize, he summons what looks to be, you assume as a keyblade. And at the tip of it, you'll see these golden chains erupt from it, shoot out towards each of you. And you guys all feel a slight pain in your chest, and looking <sighs> down, you'll see these golden chains are now wrapped around a very much physical uh, scene of your heart. You know, we'll frown at that. But behind all of you, uh, you will see there's a fifth chain also. And looking back, you'll see another heart being wrapped around said chain, and you'll see a almost ghost-like figure of the girl from the 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 girl with the sights from the photo standing there. Who is she? She is someone that, if not taken care of properly or protected, not only your world, but every world will cease to exist. And just like 2,000 years ago, darkness will overrun everything. That's a lot of pressure. Here, Laura's keyblade and the chains will fade 
but each of your heart is still there glowing um and he will go it's the uh, responsibility as a key keyblade wielder you're going to the school to learn how to become a proper master this is partly the responsibility of said title Yes, so. I don't believe a word you're saying. You say you can bring them back, or that they are alive. That's not true. Unless I'm supposed to be doing this to defend the dead. Yori nods. She's right. I have lived for over 2,000 years to give you this very specific message. Do you think someone like me would lie to you for that? Yes. Yeah, I do. I don't know what your ulterior motive is, but I know the math ain't mathing up in my head right now of everything. You'll see him kind of wave his cane at you lazily. Believe what you want, then. You, just like many when given a warning, is just going to die off due to your own ignorance. I would hope the rest of you are more open-minded. And you actually care about these people. This is the only hint I've gotten, so what's there to lose? So what, do I get on the train now, or what? Mm. Well, you see, he, the black, the blackest purple portal will again reappear from behind him. He goes, well, if you want to follow <clears throat> my message, then I would. But for me, it looks like my time has expired, finally. And it's time for me to start a, my next life, so I won't be seeing you kids for a while. Next life? Yeah, it's a little trick I learned during the Keyblade War. That's not ominous at all. Wait, are you... I hope you kids have a fun time at the Academy. But before I go... I'll give you one gift from one Keyblade Master to the up-and-coming future. And he snap his fingers and around you guys, you will hear this noise. Some of you recognize said noise. And looking down at the platform, you will see these black circular dots start to motion all around in a very sporadic motion. And then rising up, at least counting about eight of them, each of you recognize them to be the heartless. I knew that man was a liar. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that's what you get for trusting the elderly. Hey, hey, hey. No need for the third degrees. If you guys are going to the academy, you gotta at least show your stuff. Come on. You think you're scared of these little harmless guys? Not at all. Bring it. Yeah. Crack knuckles. Let's go. Shut up, Daichi. What? <laughs> <laughs> you that? know, Juno has a hand on like her face, trying to hide how cute she thinks these fuckers are. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> She's looking away with a hand covering her mouth like... <laughs> and you'll see the old man just slowly make his way into the portal and disappear as the Heartless all remain skirted around looking at each of you with their large beady yellow eyes. And as you guys prepare yourselves, you'll see that same uh, figure of the girl still there. But now, look, she places her palm out. You'll see a scythe, just like in the image, appears as if she's ready to also fight alongside you. Hell back. yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Everybody roll initiative! Ah! Hey, DM, while we're rolling initiative, can you unminimize your screen so we can listen to music? Oh my god, no! <laughs> it's been like that the whole time! <laughs> I'm sorry, Daichi. Fiora is just agitated. Oh, don't worry. He'll get over it. <laughs> okay. You're so cute, Daichi. Oh, thanks. How do I do this? Uh... I N I T on your first page. Double click it or drag and drop. I N I T. Uh, it's next to your AC. I found it. Main page. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. I did the basic task. <laughs> Wait, why do they all get- do they really all get- Ooh, that'd be rough. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, God. They oh, all- okay, so wait, maybe I need- gonna let's, die. Let's, let's, let's start with a, the TPK, I let's go. Change, I need to change the setting. I think I have it to where they all roll, like, the same initiative. I'm like, I cannot let them all go one by one. You guys get <laughs> throttled. Like, Hold on. Uh, let's see. Wait, Dawn's initiative is minus one? Gee. Yeah. Yar. <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> I, I don't think she knows how to summon her weapons, so it's fine. She's figuring it out during that time. You also, know, it's, it's it kind of makes point. sense, also, because she's like, I don't believe any of this shit. <laughs> yeah. She's very wary of everything. <laughs> I, I love Dodge so much. Just her, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to go back on the train. You know? <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't have to be here. Yeah. She can drop out at any time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right, here we go. Um, the f it's not gonna be the same map as the what it was described as. It's the closest I could get to where we could be at. Maybe one day I'll get a commission made of like what I described. Yeah. Yippee! Um, and let the enemies be visible, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Egg. Right. I got it. We got this. Oh. Let's change the music to something more. No, that ain't the one. This one? You can, you can also hold down the space bar now to, like, move the map around. All right, so there's a new function. I'm not yeah. using it today, but there's a new function. You can make the map. Uh, you can change the camera angle to 3D. So let me show you. Oh, like what this. the heck? Can you guys also see it in this? Oh, uh, oh my gosh! gosh. <gasps> oh. You know, let's try it out for this one fire. Let's see how how well it does. Okay. How do you do that? Um, so if you were to, I don't know what it looks like on your guys' screen, but, uh... <gasps> oh, I see it! Yeah, it's you like a toggle camera. Toggle. Yeah, toggle yeah. camera. Yeah! Left side. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my god! So we'll do this for now. I won't be doing this for every fight. At least on, on my end, to how I can see things, because some maps don't translate well. Uh, but we'll do it for this, for this one. Um, but with initiatives <laughs> all rolled, the first up is Juno. What's up? All right. I'm assuming I can just summon my Keyblade, right? Yes. Okay. So I'll do that and rush up to the first one to slash at it with my Keyblade. All right. Juno goes up to him. Grab it. And that is a good old hit. So, and then just summon her keyblade and swipe it through the darkness. Once you do, you slash against this heartless who gives like a big leap, like a cockroach, and fly guy kind of leaps up behind uh, in front of you and gives a big old screeching noise. 
What else are you doing? Uh, that is going to be it for her. All right. Fiore, what's up? Yo, what's up, buddy? Oh, nothing much. <laughs> Guess who's uh, also going to summon their Keyblade? Oh my god, that's crazy! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't see that coming at all. I know! And Fiori's gonna go, like, right in front of... How do I move? How I do you. I... Oh, there he goes! Woohoo! Woo right in front of that guy! And he's gonna fucking use his Keyblade, which is sick as hell, might I add. Mm-hmm. And not even do a slice, do a... A right stab. Stab right through him. Do it. Okay. Do you, I'm going to go to my tab. Do you need, do you need and I'm to going to do out? this. Oh, you got it. Nice. Oh, and that is... Uh, all right. Just a future reference. Next time, place it on the token of the person you're trying to hit. So it can... <gasps> oh, my out. bad. But you're fine. Uh, let's see if that's a hit or miss. That is a miss. Ah. Uh, well, <gasps> awesome. Great job, guys. <laughs> We're doing so good. <laughs> the end of my turn <laughs> daichi all right well i guess uh i want to go attack shadow seven i also big shock summon my my keyblade and uh just give it all one two Look, um, which one are you going towards shadow seven at least on my screen i don't know how to so if you yeah, grab you your go. character and you can move it, yeah. Perfect. Right. Now, did you want to go like right in front of him or like one below him, like below him or like right next to him? Uh, go right next to him. Right okay. there is perfect. Gotcha. Um, where? Oh dear. Oh no! Here's where I don't realize. Is it in skills? No. Abilities? No. Actions. No. Actions. <laughs> Actions. Thank you. Uh, attack. This. Did it, no, it didn't work. It tried. You I tried. missed. <gasps> Holy Damn it! Moly. Why? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, uh, Aqua gave me advantage, so. Okay, roll uh... again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, it didn't work. Hold on. Guy who comes, the other girls giving their fucking points. That's also a miss. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shucks. Why is this so we difficult suck. today? Because boys, boo, boys have cooties. Yeah. <laughs> boys have cooties. <laughs> <laughs> is that it for you, Daichi? Yeah, that's it. Cool, man. Shadow number seven that you just tried to slap. It's going up next. Uh, oh, boy. Seeing the Keyblade in front of him, he sees he's auto, he, like he's already on alert. Like he looks uh, terrified at the weapon and rushes at you with his claws to give you a big scratch attack in which it hits. Ouch! This slashes Daichi across his chest and then you'll see the, uh, the Heartless submerge back into the ground, leaving nothing but like a little small black circle. And you can see it and you can see it just starts to like move and it gets to here. Oh, come on! At least stand still! And that's be his turn. Uh, number one, who is over here, is going to rush at you, Daichi, with his little scraggly ah! legs. And he's going to try and scratch you as well. He also hits. <laughs> <laughs> he just slaps Daichi across the chest again. Uh, this one will stay up in the open. It will not submerge into the ground. And that'd be his turn. Number five in front of Dawn. <laughs> Now, real fast, I know Dawn said she was, like, near inside the train. Like, I don't know if she actually went in or she's, like, near the entrance of it. Would she also st still be there? I probably. Okay, so I will actually place you, like, Dawn all the way down oh, here. <laughs> uh, Dawn has advantage. Oh, nice. Hmm. So, number five, seeing Dawn all the way down at the bottom, you'll see it looks around... And, uh, who's closer? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a skitter over to Fiore. Bro, there's three of them now! <laughs> He's, going He's to not that popular of a guy! Give a scratch attack, and that's a hit. He just slaps Fiore with his claw, leaving a kind of tear his up. He's already, uh, his dinge closing. Um, oh my god! This one also... <laughs> You'll see submerged into the ground. Um, but that's about it. All right. Uh, Zanya, you're not on the map. Let me place you there. I got you. 
Hey, Help what you me. doing? Help me. <laughs> Help me. Oh, I thought you had some sort of plan for it. Oh, no, I'm going to let you play. I don't want you to sit here and do nothing. I'm like Apparition, time. right? Um, as in like your race? No, like, because yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, you are. You are. Figure. You are. You're yes. an Apparition. You are. Yeah. No, no, like you said, it was just the image. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. are. Um, Fiori, you have 20 temporary hit points and advantage. God damn. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Okay, so I have reach right. Am I allowed to do a cleave or? Um, yeah, if you can get close up, close enough to them, yeah. Can I hit like two? Um, can only hit one. Okay, I'll hit five. All right, go right ahead. Oh, you meant Heartless Shadow 2. I'm sorry, I thought you meant, can you hit two enemies? Um, I'm trying to see where you were. Well, you can't hit five, but yeah, oh, go Oh no, ahead. you had it right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Then yeah, you can hit five, go ahead. Um, Okay, I'll hit five. I just want to do a drive by. Um, all right, that that can work. Yeah, if you need help knowing how to uh, hit them again, just let me know. Uh, I forgot. Okay. Um. So if you look on your character, go to actions. Uh, the last one and then you'll look at the very top you'll see your weapons and you'll see uh, I'm assuming you'll use your, your sight so you see the plus six just grab that drag it out and place it on top of the token that you want to hit and with that that is a that's a hit but uh, as I said next time just place it on top of the token so the uh, game can calculate it but that's a hit so next so now you just get the 1d 10 plus 4 and place it on the the shadow you're trying to hit um, uh, hold on. I don't know. Gotta put in the system. Alright. Damage is placed. That is a hit. Um, you're able to slash this shadow from the back. He turns and he looks oh, at like you. like this. Try to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Yeah, just like that. Like that. There you go. That's how you do it. And you rush up there. And then... Now, if you do that... The shadow gets to do an opportunity attack. Are you going to allow it? Uh. All right. Makes sense. Oh, okay. That was your movement, your action. Do you have anything you want to do as a bonus action or nothing else? Good enough for now. Okay. Shadow number two that's right in front of her will. Just like his other friends, is gonna do a try to a scratch attack against this strange woman. To which it hits. So as it slashes against her, it's gonna stay where it is, no point in moving. Shadow three that's in front of Fiore. <laughs> To slap him. Okay, okay, you can at least not give oh, me the boy. attitude multi. Oh man, <laughs> he, just, he just jumps up like a monkey and slaps you across the face. But you had 10 for hit points, so you're good. You know, you're fine. Yay! <laughs> By the divine power of God, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow number six is gonna go towards Anya and is going to try and slap her as well. Which it also hits. It just hit this apparition. Um, you guys can see like once the she gets hit again, you'll see like her figure starts to slowly seem like it's fading in and out of existence. Uh, what is that? Dawn, what are you doing? Okay, 
Talon will kind of look back at everything that's happening and kind of sigh stepping out of the train just just a little bit. Mm. And oh, gotcha. And then she's going to hold up her hand and send out three bolts with magic missile. Ooh. One to shadow four and two to shadow seven if that reaches. It does. Got it. Spaces. Okay. Uh, oh. Do you, if you need help, let me know. Well, I think I've got it. Okay. That not go through? No. Oh, that one did. There it. we are. <laughs> okay, cool. There you go. Ooh. All right. From behind, you got to see these three star-like uh, bolts of light shoot upward. You know, you see one past your head, zips past, hit the shadow on his chest. You'll see it kind of again sprawl out into the ground. And Fiore, you'll see. Oh wait, actually, I think Seven is submerged in the ground, so you couldn't hit that one. Oh. Uh, you could aim uh -huh. for a different. Like you can hit any one on this map. You, you have the range for it. Okay. Uh, but Seven and five, I believe, are in the ground. All right, but I have range for anyone. Uh, what's another good one to Four looks like it's injured. All right. I'll oh, I've already hit four. Sorry, I'm going through it. No, you're good. Okay. You, you well, can I'll hit do another one at four times. then. Yeah. yeah. I'll do another one at four then. All right, four. It's, it died. All right. Let's see, one and more then... bolt. Uh, so Shadow 3 would be able to hit, right? Yes. Okay, I'll throw one up there too. Alright. So, 4 actually gets hit by 2, Juno, instead of 1. And you'll see it just sprawls into the ground. This time it will fall over and just pff, disappear. Nice! First of the shadows are gone. With that, Dawn, is anything else you're doing? Uh, no. All right. Last and not least, we got to see you here, Don. Five. Says Daisy. Not glad to be here. Right. You're doing great anyway. I'm gonna roll and see who this one's gonna go after. Uh, Essie, odds or evens? Oh, evens all the way. It's going for you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, there's four of them. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is a hit. Ah, of course it is! <laughs> it slapped. Hey, the tip is saving you. The tip is saving Why you. Why don't you just kick him in the nuts? Why don't you just kick him in the nuts at this point? Might as well put him all the way down. Oh, well, we'll see how it happens the, on the next turn. Then maybe they will. Uh, ah! You don't know. Uh, let's see who's next. We go past all these people. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't set it up. We just skip the people who aren't on the map. Oh god, skip, 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 skip. Uh, Juno, what's up? Well, the heart that's in front of me is gone. Uh, seven and five are underground, right? Yes. Alright, I'll rush here, I guess. Oh, uh, wait. You can't oh. do that. Oh, well, you can. You can't. Wait, we'll do that. Sorry. I have 25 movement. No, I know. I'm trying I? to see, like, oh, wait, because you're going through. Wait, no, five I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Because they're underground, yeah, yeah, they're so, underground. like, yeah, they, they can't sure. hinder my movement, I don't think. Yeah, they, they can't. Go ahead. Uh, you seem yeah. to be in a spot of trouble. They're talking to me? Yeah. Seems like they like you. I'm going to attack Shadow 8 as I'm playing. <laughs> you <laughs> miss. Damn. Oh, yeah. that would have been so cool. That's what know. you get for trying to help me, I guess. That's just my luck today. <laughs> Yeah, I'll consider that the next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks. Uh, I only got one action, my dudes. So that's about it. <laughs> Fiore, you're being jumped by a bunch of shadows. What's up? Oh, what's up? Ah, oh, what a unique experience being jumped on by a bunch of shadows. Also, uh, shadow... so I would. <laughs> Sorry, Shadow Eight has twenty temporary hit points because Q is a bitch. <laughs> Ew! Why? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, uh, so I would like to do a bonus action. How would I go about doing that if it's a concentration action? 
Um, Would I click the little man next to effect? What, or are you using divine favor, I'm assuming, right? I sure am. Yeah, just click the little guy. I'm clicking the little guy. There Ooh, it's go. clicked. You guys, All right. You guys see uh, Fiore's Keyblade shine with this bright light. Now. Huge. Huge. Huge baby. W. Uh, I would like to attack Shadow 3. Go ahead. Okay, I know Don't how to miss. do this Don't now. Don't miss. You didn't miss. You hit. Oh, big numbers! <laughs> good shit. Good shit. All right. Uh, and then I do this one over to this this guy. Oh, with this radiant keyblade. Oh, if he already just turns around, there's a quick slash across his head, and you see the head lopped off as the body and the head collapse to the ground and disappear in this puff of smoke. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> All right, Fiore looks so like he was down in the dumps just now, but killing that guy, oh, it brought his mood right up. Let's go into my turn. All righty. Daichi, what's up? Uh, okay, so I also want to do a bonus action, but it's concentration. So how, like, what would break concentration? If you can either end it, uh, the time in, ends, or uh, an, an enemy hits you and you break out of concentration. Okay, so I could do a bonus action uh, and move and be able to attack. Yeah. And it wouldn't. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use Zephyr Strike, um, which gives me. Uh, a lot. Hold on. A lot. <laughs> yeah. How do you. I, oh, I, I, I applied it for you. Oh, thanks! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I did the wrong one. <gasps> I'll get rid of it. I got you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, and then I'll you I'll attack the one right in front of me. All right. I really just need that advantage. Okay, let's see. Uh, action. Shadow one, you're, you're so far. There we go. And that is a hit. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, take this. Ooh, and with that one, you gotta see like this wind appear around Daichi. Just swells around his body, and he'll give a like a. You see, like Link does like a little spin with his blade. He does the same thing, and the shadow gets slashed in half. It disappears. Ha! Take that! Great. Now he's just gonna move right here. If it'll let me move. There we go. He'll just hang out. All right. Just hanging out. Shadow number seven that's in the ground is going to move here and rise back up. And it's going to go after... Actually, no. It's going to go after Daichi because it is afraid of that glowing keyblade. <laughs> so with that, Bring it. It hits Daichi. Ah, oh, shut. And Daichi, you... Still have concentration. You're good. Uh, Shadow oh. one is dead. See you, buddy. Shadow five comes from beneath the ground and will turn. It will get here. And it will. Let me roll something. Gonna go after Fiore. No, oh, come on. It missed. Yippee. <laughs> Zanya, what are you doing? Okay, so can I cast a hex? Hex, yes. Uh, which one are you hexing? Well, I can't click or drag, so should I just tell you who? Yeah. Six. Six? Okay. Okay. Dex. Dex. Okay, gotcha. 
I will write that down. There's a bonus action. And keep going for a slash against number six, and that's a hit. In a sort of dance, Sienna wordlessly continues her momentum and brings her large scythe back around behind her and brings it down upon the heartless in retaliation. Nice. And when you do so, you slide, your scythe stabs down into the chest of the heartless. So that's kind of like piercing it into the ground so it can't move. And you see the heartless kind of squirm around trying to pull the scythe out. And you'll see it kind of go underneath the ground and outmaneuver out of it. Like outmove from the scythe so it's now standing in front of you again, but look heavily damaged. Um, that'll be an action bonus action. Are you moving or are you staying where you are? Stand my ground. Bet. All right. Shadow two will get to here and is going to attack. Oh god, no, not itself. Fuck. Stop it. <laughs> oh no. Why you hurt yourself? Attack Zanya, and that's it. So it slashes her. Oh god. You guys see the apparition just disappears. Uh, into a, a, a sparkle of lights. Well, well, we're already not doing a good job protecting this girl. Oh <laughs> no, I know it was too much pressure. Shadow gets to here. Shadow six is going to attack uh, Juno. Which is another hit. Okay. And it's gonna stay where it is. Not gonna do anything. Dawn, you just saw the apparition of the little girl. Oh, not a little girl. Oh, the woman disappear. Quick question. Does the spell sleep? Would that affect the ones that are currently in the floor? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> Let me check real fast. <laughs> Oh, da, 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 da. Um. Wow. Yeah, 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 it would. Okay. Um, but none are in the ground right now, so that is totally fine. All right, I'm gonna move just a little bit uh, over here. Okay. And then I should be in range to cast sleep. Do I do like the damage and then the effect one on a, whoever it hit? Um, who? Uh, yeah, just you see the, the you see the five d eight in uh, there. Just grab that yeah. and then roll it in the box. Okay. All right, it should go. We should start with the lowest hit point one, which would be shadow number six. He is asleep. Um. Hey. Wait, let me ask you. So then there's 13 points left to distribute. Yeah. Let me just place the sleep on this guy real fast. But it would be unconscious. So let me put it. That's so powerful. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Whew. I about to say, it doesn't work. Um, all right, number six is unconscious. Then we go to the next one, which would be 13. So it would be number five. Number five is asleep. And then next up would be shadow number it would be any any of them at that point. Um, and it wouldn't work. So only five and six or asleep. Okay. Okay, that was an action on Dawn's part. Anything else? Uh no. Number eight, who is in front of Daichi, is going to turn and is going to attack Fiori. It killed his brother and. <laughs> oh, come on! 
and his brother was an asshole. <laughs> well, he didn't think so. He hit you. <laughs> and you're still concentrated, so you're fine. Thank God. But he will move here. Oh, get <laughs> out of my sight. <laughs> you're already up, Juno. Well, you're up. maybe you gotta kill it. Uh... I thought you were gonna say kiss. <laughs> mm. No. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Juno is going to focus and add a Wrathful Smite to the, her weapon. Ooh, okay, okay. And strike at Shadow 8. That is a hit. Go ahead and roll for the damage. Mm, yeah, so All she's right, like, fine. let me show you some darkness. And hit at him. Fucking <laughs> Q. <laughs> Q, um, Q, when I catch you, when I catch you, I'm gonna show you the true meaning of darkness. <laughs> you stab it. It's as if this thing just bulked up at the last second, like it braced itself, and it looked like yeah. no damage. Well, we need to start chipping away at it, anyways. Otherwise, it's gonna be a problem. Um, and then I am. It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. It does, but nothing happens. Uh, okay. Ba, 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 ba. Da, da, da. I think that's all I can do. All right, Fiore. Fiore. Um. Do? Oh, what you what you do? What the dog do? <laughs> um. Fiore will uh. Just try to uh, attack Shadow Eight. Right, chip, ahead. chip down on this dude, man. Okay, we're shadow eight. There right, he is. Right in front of you. That's a hit. Ooh, baby. Man, I'm wondering what on that twenty is gonna happen. That's gonna be fun. Ooh, Jesus fucking Christ! All right. <laughs> he is not looking good. Okay, shadow eight, my boy. Your boy is that your son? son? Yeah. Shadow eight. He's my favorite. Is Fiori staying where he is? He's standing his ground? Oh, he's standing his ground. He's pissed. All right. Daichi. All right. Time to attack. Is Shadow 7 still uh, up? Or is it in the ground? Uh, it's all. They're all up. They're all up. They're all up. Okay, perfect. Daichi's just going to attack Shadow 7. Go ahead. Oh, that's a oh. miss. Well, uh, that's it for Daichi. <laughs> <laughs> well, number two. Uh, Fiore, if you wanted to get a talk about opportunity, you could on oh, number seven. So, if you want to hit him with your, I would again. love to. Do I just do a regular hit? Uh, yes, with your keyblade. Ooh, here we go. Wait, is number seven leaving? Is no. he moving? He just moved. Oh, okay. All right, that would be. No, you gotta roll to see if you hit. Oh my bad. I looked at like what the. My fuck? bad. I rolled the wrong one. <laughs> wait, wait, I need a. Okay, hold on. Yeah, go heal him. Uh, heal him up. Heal, heal him. him up. All right, there we go. Okay, do it again. Roll to see if you hit now. The twenty-two. No, 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 no. We'll just roll again. Okay, we do everything. Yeah. Because he had advantage. Shouldn't have had advantage. Okay. Oh, that's it. Wow! <laughs> Look at it. All right, you killed him. <laughs> he fucking moved. <laughs> <laughs> well, I minimized. I'm sorry. Daichi is Thank once you. again impressed. Uh, Fiori got that kill count going. Yeah. Go. <laughs> of course. Shadow just gets, he tries to move, and Fiori sees from the corner of his eye, and as it stands next to Daichi, Daichi, you see Fiori swipes, you duck, barely, he misses you, and he hits the, <laughs> the shadow. <laughs> Sh Fiori! <laughs> Watch your head next time. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha, it's not a joke. <laughs> I can't help that I'm tall, unlike you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Spicy. You're just pissed. <laughs> just kidding. He just puffs and turns away. Shadow 2 sees that Fiore is on a killing spree. It's gonna just, you know, take out the easy target. 
go next to Juno. You mm. go after O. <laughs> Which is a hit. Slap. And that's all it's gonna do. Shadow Six to sleep. Dawn. Okay. Well. I'll, I'll head up there. I'm gonna stand gracefully here. And she's gonna pull out her keyblade and attack Shadow Five, saying, Sorry, Koopo. Oh. As she does it. Okay. So roll the dice first. Yeah, the. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Plus five. That's a hit. Okay. And. Sorry, what do I roll next? Uh, do you see the uh, 1D, I think, 8 next to it? Plus 4? Oh, here we are. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Oh, dang. Don just, like, goes up to him, and she says that she stabs into him, and when that happens, he'll see, he open his eyes slowly, and he'll see Don keyblade, like, through him, and he'll, like, reach his hand towards you <laughs> pleadingly before it just disappears. Oh, that poor little Mook will have to hit that thing. Care about the moogle. But the moogles would never attack me. Oh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them looking at <laughs> it. I think they were starting to realize something's wrong with them. <laughs> What's so <a> moogle? <laughs> Is that interesting? Y'all notice everyone kind of like turned her. She's like, what? The moogles are great. Five of my best friends are moogles. Well, Three oh, of them might be the same Moogle. I don't know. That explains a lot. Thanks, Don. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that it for, for Don? Yeah, she's got nothing else. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow 8 is... Is he dead? Where are you? Eight? Oh, you're right in front of him. Oh, God. Uh. Duh. Shit. We're just gonna, you know, stake true to slap Juno. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah! And then as a bonus act, he's gonna go into the ground. <laughs> Sound like Stitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I can do a good impression whenever he shows up. Alright, Juno, what's up? <laughs> well, uh, considering eight is gone, I guess I'll attack two. Do it if you can. Well, let's see. You nope. Cannot. Uh. Yep, that's it. <laughs> okay. God, low levels is so trash. All right, Fiora, yeah. what's up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, already that was so fast. Yeah. Um, I can't hit eight because he's under the ground. The <laughs> show. Okay, then. Hmm. So interesting how I will then use. Are there any of the other ones underground? No, the rest are fine. Oh, I would love to use a chromatic orb on Shadow Six, then, please. Whoa! Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, uh Multi, before he throws that, you need to move Shadow 8. Otherwise, it's gonna. Oh, true. Claim oh, yeah, yeah. melee and range, yeah. Not the way <laughs> fast. All right, cool. Um, which one do you want to hit again? I'm sorry. Uh, Shadow 6, please. Okay, so if you just open up your. Well. I have yeah. expanded chromatic order. Thank you. And I'm awaiting further instructions. The plus four, drag that out and see and, land, and place it on the one you want to hit. Oh, I would love to. Thank you, thank you. That is a hit. Yes. Which damage do you want to use? Ooh. So would I drag the little blood drop of the one I want? No, you get the, the 3d8 of which one you want and drag that out and place it on him. Oh, okay. Thunder! All right, go ahead. Does Fury oh, cast a spell like that? Yeah. If he's <laughs> shouting thunder. Thunder! <laughs> A little bit more cool, but not like very cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he says something like, cool in the beginning, like like thunder, like he can voice crack it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's new to this. <laughs> like Roy Mustang. 
<laughs> oh, oh yeah! It's true. The Roy Mustang of the modern age. So, oh, I thought this guy was cool. Maybe he's not actually that cool. <laughs> he does that, and his orb of lightning shoots out his keyblade, hits the shell that's asleep, and it just kind of electrifies and just poof, disappears. <laughs> what can I say? Okay. Okay, he just can't snap then, so he keeps trying. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder stats me. He goes, what the, the fuck? Why is that like? Yeah. Uh, Fiora, are you moving or are you staying? He's staying. Alright. He's gotta protect Daichi in case he fucking trips on a banana peel. Uh, Shadow number eight has about? inspiration, by you the way. See? Who gave my boy inspiration? Oh my goodness. Opium. Yay. <laughs> Daichi. Okay, that. Oh boy. Uh, Shadow eight is in the ground. He's Friends. in the ground. Okay, uh, he will run over to, uh, I'm guessing Shadow 2, yeah. He'll just attack it with a good old Keyblade. That is a hit. Hold on, do not roll damage just yet. I need to right. apply your, your force damage. There you go. All right, now you can. Oh, thanks. All right, here we go, buddy. And he Perish. is alive. Ah, oh, shuck. <laughs> That's it for me, Phillips. Number five is dead. Number Zanya is dead. Shadow two, who you oh, just hit. Yeah, we failed. Mm, you just hit two him. minutes in. But Juno is looking pretty bad, so I'm gonna do this. Odds are even. Daichi. Bring it. No, you have to choose odds or evens. <laughs> Oh, you should uh, just hit him for saying that. Well, I got an 18, so I'm hitting you anyways. <laughs> that slaps him. Yeah. And you lost concentration. <laughs> so bad, so bad. He goes under the ground. You see he's behind Dawn. Shadow 6 is dead. Dawn, you're up. Both shadows are in the ground. It's great we're everywhere having, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna just walk away. <laughs> okay. Where, where, where you going? No, 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 there's, there's <laughs> other enemies. No. <laughs> they're in the ground. What do you want her to do? <laughs> no, no, as long as you're not fleeing the scene, then. Do you want me to stand right? Do you want me to stand right by this man in the ground? No. 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 I guess it's fine. I'm doing it. It doesn't seem like that weird of an idea. <laughs> Number eight reappears from the ground. Ah. Uh. Shit. Dude. I'm hitting Juno. Slap. Okay. He missed. Oh, uh, man. What a loser. He just leaps up the ground <laughs> trying to slap you. Juno just blocks it with her keyblade. It's going to roll this real fast. All right, it's stupid. It's going to try and skitter away. Okay, we can hit it, right? We both can, yeah, both of you can swing. Ooh, I'm a swing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Juno missed. Fury hit. Whoa. Oh, watch out. Number eight, no! <laughs> <laughs> it tries to like, it jumps up trying to hit Juno, and it misses, and it sees like the light. You can just feel the light radiating behind him, and he tries to run away. But before he even moves too far, it can just feel like a pain through his chest, and he looks down and see the keyblade like going straight through him. And it turns his head slowly, you can see Fiore's like looking dead at him. It yanks the keyblade out as it just. Yeah. It's like number five. You cry number eight like we are back on Cartoon Network Kids. Next door, G Multi. It's not that deep, boy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my description, baby. Juno. Uh, Shadow number two is in the ground, right? He is in the ground. He's scared. Uh, can I just hold an action for when it pops up? Sure. Uh, when it pops up, I'm gonna cast a guiding bolt. Okay. No, wait. Oh. Mm, Eldritch Blast. 
Okay, Fiore. Mm. Looks like mm. my summer vacation is. Mm. Ah. You go move here. That's the end of his turn. Okay. <laughs> Daichi. <laughs> At least he's come just gonna sit move. Alright, <laughs> sure. He's gonna be right here. And he's just gonna wait. No, 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 no. Um, no? To, to my what? right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll just wait there. <laughs> Perfect. Shadow number two gets up from the ground. All right. Yeah! Anyways, I start blasting. No, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Takes this much damage. Liv! Uh, so he just <laughs> pops out from the ground and without even giving an inch, he gets shot in the chest and flops over Family Guy yeah. style and dies. Juno just releases his dark energy at it, hitting it square in the chest. <laughs> Woo! Juno is pretty cool! And we You did really well, Daichi. Oh, I can't that's... let someone die. Oh, oh no! I was too surrounded by those stupid Muppets. This does not bode well if our mission is to protect her. It looked well, like yeah, just, an... just Well, I mean, it looked like an apparition, so maybe it wasn't the real thing. Maybe. <sighs> now, as you guys are Hard speaking... To tell. Sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> as you're speaking, you guys feel the whole platform begins to rumble and shake. You guys are trying to keep up your balance, but... You can just feel this looming presence. I think we should go back to the train now. You guys... Yeah. You, you say so. And you can see, like, a giant hand grips oh. onto the platform. And you can see it's like it's pulling itself up. Oh, not super special, but... Can you see this guy above all of you? No, not that oh, guy! No. I know that guy! Juno says smash. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Juno! <laughs> what is Juno into the fuck? Okay. So, this is gonna be a... Something I do is gonna be a... I forgot the term, but it's gonna be a skill test, pretty much. So, what this, how this works is that you guys are going to try and run back to the train. I doubt you're gonna try and fight this thing. So, uh, you guys give me a... Pick a skill from your skills list. Uh, and describe how you're gonna get out of a certain Ooh. scenario. It's built for this. <laughs> all right. So starting off, you'll see the giant creature looming over all of you, and you see it raises one of his hands and slams it down. You can guys can see this powerful shock wave rush towards all of you. I will start with Daichi. What is he gonna do seeing this? All right, well, uh, Daishi is skilled in, uh, the art of parkour, so he's gonna use his acrobatics to, uh, get the fuck out. He's gonna, if there's, like, a, is there, like, a visible shockwave? Yeah, you can like, see it coming towards game? you. Okay, mm -hmm. great. He's gonna, um, just jump and, like, dodge roll out of the way towards the train. Ooh, I like that. Okay, go ahead. Roll acrobatics. Oh, you ah. failed! Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Daichi, have you used your ins- Oh, no, you didn't. Not you have yet. a plus, yeah. D10 that I'll add to it. That's an 8, so I'll right. add an 8 to it. Um, what was it? No, you succeed. So, you guys <laughs> see Daichi, the shockwave goes, and Daichi just does a, a fucking dodge roll, parkour over the shockwave, and then you see him just run towards the train. So, Daichi, Catch you are- you later! You're able to oh. escape, Daichi. <laughs> oh my god! Fiori! He's getting into the dark side, don't worry. <laughs> Fiori's turn? Yeah, how are you going to avoid Fiori... this shockwave? Fiori... Actually, he's not going to particularly avoid it. He's going to do it the old tried method and use his athletics to simply run the fuck away from it! Okay, go right ahead, roll your... Roll athletics. You succeed! So Fiori sees it coming and he just books ass and <laughs> runs away. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> he just 
run past the thing. All right. <laughs> now, I will also say, once they use the skill, you guys, the other people can't use it. So you guys, Don and oh. Juno, you can't use acrobatics, you can't use athletics anymore. Those both are gone. Uh, I've got this. Uh, Juno, <laughs> you're up next. Um, I want to use, like, the destruction of Fiori running and uh, Daichi bright as fuck doing kickflips and maybe stealth away. <laughs> <laughs> using the rubble and everything just to kind of meld and still so it doesn't notice me. No, there's a shockwave coming at you. Oh, so wow. Well, damn. Uh, it's like can I, style, but, like can I investigate a path to avoid it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Sherlock Holmes. Like you did <laughs> it's not like I can run or flip. Those are taken. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pull a Sherlock home. Let's see what happens. Okay. Investigation go. <laughs> oh, fuck. You failed. Oh, no! <laughs> Rough out here. Yeah. So, Juno, I know what, you failed. Dawn. Uh, uh, Dawn is going to use her historical knowledge of getting off <laughs> the train twice. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a history check to know the way back. <laughs> if that is allowed. <laughs> I will say that. I'll say you look at the battlefield, you try to see, like, maybe something that can block the shockwave on your way back to the train. But yeah, go ahead. You were tracing the steps of five minutes ago? <laughs> Crazy. Exactly. Oh hmm. my god. Uh oh. So. <laughs> The two of you tried to expect, I don't remember much. Yeah, you tried to expect the area, but you guys don't see anything that can help you guys out in this situation. And before you can even move, the shockwave is way it's too late. And you can see it coming at you to where both of you make uh, dexterity saving throws for me. Oh, Wait, apparently I have a D8. Yeah. Oh, you do roll it. If you want to, you can roll it now. Sure. Thirteen. Is that what it is, 13? You failed by one. Damn. Right. Oh, no. Dexterity saving throw, then? Dex saves, yeah. Alright. Oh, thank God. Okay. And... Oh, no, no, no. Oh. So, if you look on Oh, sorry, screen... I rolled the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. bad at uh, looking at things. You're fine. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. It's See not- it's, this is gonna work worse. Oh. oh, that's a check. It's the one on the opposite side. Oh. Oh my god, this is this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have the advantage. Nice. It's not uh, great, but you had advantage. <laughs> uh, so, oh. the shockwave smacks both of you. And you both will take... Bro, even with the 21? <laughs> yeah, you make a save. You take half damage. Mm -hmm. um, Damn. Do you know you take four damage? I'm dead. Oh, Dion's <gasps> unconscious. Yeah. Oh, shit. And oh, no. Dion, you take the full brunt and you take 11 damage. I gotta take a stress piss break after this. So as the both of you are there, uh, Daichi and Fiori, as you guys like at the front of the train, at the door, trying to get inside, you turn back and you can see Juno is like now on the ground. Keyblade disappears while Dawn is holding her chest after taking the blow. You'll see the darkened creature rise up further and you'll see his arm reach out as you see he's had his hand in the air ready to slam down onto Juno. <gasps> they see immediately runs to Juno's side to try to pick her up. Now, Daichi, I would you I would oh hmm. god okay no, no, go say, ahead Daichi, you get there you still wait no you you nope that's gone so 30 feet ah uh, you wouldn't unless you can dash but you wouldn't be able to grab her if you dashed it actually you know what no we're doing this skill we're doing school cool shit what skill are you gonna use Daichi? uh I'm gonna use survival <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh use um all of my uh get the fuck out of their skills uh, in survival and try to grab her before it's too late. Alright, Fiori, what about you? What you trying to do? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, let me change that map so these oh, shit. Oh, shucks. Flashbacks to get the heck out of their moments of doing crimes. Yeah, yeah exactly. How far is this? 
No, we're doing rule of cool. Don't have to worry about the distances. Oh, we're doing so, rule yeah. of cool. So you got it, bro. What skill you want to use? Um. Okay. Let me take a. And you can use all your skills again. You, it it kind of restarts at the start of everything. So Ooh. acrobatics and, uh, and self back. All right. Uh, then I'm gonna b fucking use athletics again. All right. Dice, you roll. Why the here? heck not? If you already roll acrobat, right. roll athletics. Ah shit. <laughs> oh shit. Both of you. <laughs> I trying to like run towards it, but only because you both at the door. You both trip over each other trying to get out the door at the same time. Yay! Dai Chi! Oh. It's not conducive! You're not conducive. Well, I'm trying! I'm trying too! Dawn, <laughs> what do you do? Okay. Dawn is gonna pull out a book and try and and just like throw it over the edge and try and persuade it to go after it. Like, who, who is that? Who is that? Look over there. Who was that? That's crazy. Roll deception. Uh, not persuasion, persuading oh. him. Okay, maybe I'll do it. Okay. Oh my God, a book. It's got so many cool things in it. I wrote it myself. It's got all my secrets in. Go get it. Full yep. of yummy darkness. Go ahead, roll this way. Let's see, what, let's see what you got here, bud. Oh boy, okay. So you throw your book and it gives off this little sheen of uh, light coming from it. And you'll see the creature hand halt for a split second. And its opposite hand will try to reach over and try to grab the book in midair. Giving you guys another turn to try and save Juno. Excellent. You go first, Daichi, since I was not conducive to your plan. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, um, Copium says he gave you inspo, not Shadow 8. Oh. Uh, <gasps> I, I keep that in mind. I'll write it down. Um, Daichi will use his acrobatics then to roll towards Juno, pick her up, and run back. Go ahead. Well, they minimized. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, that is a success. So you see Daichi just starts to do these rolls on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls over, grabs Judo, puts her over his shoulder, and you see he's running back towards the train. Um, Dawn, I'm assuming you do the same thing, that you're just running back towards the train. Yep. Um, this would be <laughs> the final check you guys have to do for today. Ooh. As you see the creature, it one of the hands grabs the book and it'll look, it sees you guys now, Juno on back, running towards the train. And it's going, it, the one free hand, it grips onto the platform <laughs> and it pushes it upward, trying to like slide it over the air for you guys to slide off into the darkness. What do you do? Uh, um. Hmm. Can you? So, okay, so the, the platform is tilting towards the train? Uh, no, the platform is like tilting like to the left, so it's trying to like flip you guys over oh, and slide off. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, someone already used athletics, so. No, you can redo, you can redo it. Yeah, they restart it. <gasps> oh, good! Okay, <laughs> well, I know what I want to do. Acrobatics, if no one else is going to use it. <laughs> All right, Dawn, what are you doing? Um, guess I'll do... Uh, uh... <laughs> so I'm looking at a lot of negative ones here on all the athletic little <laughs> things. <laughs> I guess she will... Can can I do persuasion again? She's not, she doesn't believe in any gods, but she's gonna pick one and she's gonna start praying that she can make it. <laughs> All right. With that, I'll say yes. But Fiore, you see Daichi. Uh, you know how quick and he is at this point. He looks confident, mm -hmm. but you look over, you see Dawn. She doesn't look very confident that she'll be able to make it in time. What's going on? Or what would he do in this situation? Oh well, he would close his eyes and think back to. 
as many memories as he can muster up that are a little bit more focused than the others. And he would remember all of those stage plays he's seen that involve interpretive dancing, that involve dangerous stunts and all those things. So he would use his power of performance to mm -hmm. jump onto the platform near Dawn and pick her up like a fair maiden, like in the plays and jump back a la Cirque du Soleil back to the train. Okay. Did you roll uh, yours? Dawn, she got a 20, thanks to someone yeah. in chat. And Fiori, yeah. roll yours. Let's see what we all get. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh no. What did you ask for again, Don? What was the one you wanted to do? Uh, I was I was picking a Religion. god and praying as I ran. <laughs> okay. So, everybody. Um Fiora Don, as you're running towards the train, you're praying for a god, something to save you from this situation. You would feel your waist being gripped. As you look and you see Fiore next to you, as he lifts you up and skillfully as the place is sliding down, you'll see him just like with his graceful, graceful movement is able to get himself back onto the train with you next to him. I didn't know you were a god. Why are you going to school? <laughs> you know what? I didn't know I was a god either. But feel free to pray at any moment. No, thank you. It I'm, was like well, a prayer I'm, out of desperation. Don, there's a couple other people out there who are really desperate. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll pray for the them background. as well. Do I pray to you or we do I pray to a different god? I don't know how this works. Well, I'm all, I'm, oh I'm all spent. Like some <laughs> may say I'm in a board right. game where all my skill checks are done. So maybe we should start praying to a different god. <laughs> the noise. Do you know any different gods? <laughs> there's this, there's this well, one I really... Oh, they're gone. You're falling. Um, I, uh, I'll pray to the, the Moogle god. Good king Moogle god. I don't now. know what a Moogle is, but I'll also pray. You just need to start singing. Good king Moogle mug. 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 I'm rolling religion this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Daichi, you fall off the platform <laughs> and you're screaming and as Dawn and Fiore look at you and Judo just fall into the abyss and you guys see they just disappear but then as a few seconds pass you guys see a flash of light appear right where they fell and then well you'll see done. 50% is still a passing grade. <laughs> the light flies up from the sky. And you can see both Daichi and Juno are being held under their arm, like on their waist are being held by this creature that looks to be struggling to carry them. Um, I my <laughs> on, let me grab, let me grab them for you because Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never had more fun any day in my life. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Don. Really, I am. <laughs> Maybe I am religious. I should start praying every day. You know what? If this saves our lives, I'll join your Bible club. <laughs> well, I don't want to go that far. It's just one I'm Sunday a week. Alright, you guys well, see... That's, that's like a seventh of all my days. <laughs> Maybe you're right. That seems kind of stupid. That's a lot. Maybe like See, once every three months. This, this, creature <laughs> is, this creature is floating in the air, holding them, struggling, as it slowly drifts over to where the train is and drops him off. <laughs> She's crying. Oh, he must be going shopping. Look at that little bag. At least someone here has changed for Daichi. <laughs> The creature will look at you, Dawn, specifically, and then disappear. Um, I love you. 
And as everyone are in the train, the, the door is closed. As you see the platform that got flipped over is now cracked in half and is falling down into the space with the creature. Uh, you guys now see it. This thing is as large, like, Daichi in comparison, this thing is probably like several times bigger than the world of Destiny Island. Holy moly! That's a massive hole! It is. As it's looking at you guys <laughs> oh. with the train moving forward. Getting further and further away from it. Huh. That wasn't so hard. That was way too close. Thanks for watching. Go wonderful. check out you know. <laughs> oh. All right, Juno's you know, unconscious. You know, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do a medicine check to strategy. Yeah, go ahead. Try to stabilize her. Okay, yeah. thank you. Oh god. Oh fuck! Don't let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Daichi's just like he's just I don't I just I don't know what the fuck. What would Daichi do if he didn't know how to do any type of medical? What would he try and do to make sure uh, she's alive? Um, make sure that her head's not 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 damaged or anything, and then he like tries to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grabs both of her cheeks uh, and raise her head up like. <laughs> Drops her head on the floor again. No. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Daichi, you're sorry. going to go to jail for murder <laughs> if you keep that up. And I don't have enough change to bail you out. Does anyone have any, like, healing potions or anything? Do I Maybe have, if like, we put her healer? headphones back in. <laughs> put the headphones back in. They yeah, might let her listen to her too. Too. She might wake up. <laughs> I think there's healing music on on YouTube. <laughs> let me let me listen to the Black Parade one last time before I die. <laughs> yeah, because this is the first session, I would be nice. You don't have to roll death saver throws. I'm gonna say you're unconscious. Okay. Oh. Oh. With that, you guys can see the train is moving into the depths of space once again. And with that, I think we're gonna go on a really quick break. Yay, uh, stress piss break. Yeah, we'll be right. Yeah. We'll be right back, guys. See you in a we'll bit. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bye. 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 All right, we're back. Hey, guys. We By are the way, back. yeah, what's up? What's two D nineteen ninety six? Oh, that's my other account. That's how I able to view the game, so people can't see the DM screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Kind of so favorite. that's your birth year, got it. Why are you gonna dox me, bro? We're burning. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. Bro, yeah, what did you expect? What did you expect? You didn't have to say we wrote it out. a freaking year. Don't say it out loud. I had a secret. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but we are here. Hey, everybody. Um. Hi. Hi. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back where we left off. Uh, let me get you guys some good old music again. Boop. So, um, you guys are. I don't like that. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> better. Yeah, that was too classical for me. Where's the uh, refreshments on board? No refreshments. Swallow your spirit. No refreshments? Come on! Be our guest and all that? Wrong world. You're not there yet. Ah. So, uh... Train world? Do we like trains? You're... Well, I mean, I don't know. This party seems to be liking the vibing with this train so far. I hope. But, uh... Yeah, I like it so far. I don't know about everyone else. Dabuti dabu dai. So, the I almost said her name wrong. Juno, you wake up, eventually. Uh, Yay. <laughs> I don't know if they left you on the ground, they put you on, a, on a, one of the seats, but hey, <laughs> you wake up. Uh, and she's so glad you're alive. He's like, ah, Juno! Oh. Good morning. You just have this staggering headache, Juno, as you, you wake up. Um... And the train is still moving. Uh, for everybody who was there, uh, 
you'll know that ever since uh, you guys got back on. It was been about another 40 or so minutes of, of travel until uh, once again your surroundings for the final time change back into a more city-like structure. Daichi, you recognize uh, the area you're in with this. You see the large ocean sea, the bright sun, the tropical skies. You recognize you are back on Destiny Island. So Daichi really boarded a train just to go to the same damn place. <laughs> yeah. He's it's a, okay. Got to see some other world. It's not about the ride, it's about the destination, okay? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, you, but this time, but it's not I mean, where you could be on the other side of the Destiny Highlands world. Sail. Exactly. Because Daichi, you recognize that it's now in the same spot that you are on, your normal little island. You know, it's on the opposite side. A city, a place that you only heard names about, never seen. Oh. And <laughs> when approaching this place, you'll see that um you'll look down and you just see a bunch of city structures all completely uh more modernist in comparison to what you see on destiny island and the place is rather large it's around the same exact size as um uh, as dawn city that you uh had, went past um and you can look at the structure you see several people walking about uh, some spots you automatically can recognize. You see what looks to be a hospital on one spot. You see one looks to be uh, a castle. You even see what looks to be a large arena-like structure. But you see one thing that in comparison to every business and building that you've witnessed so far while on the train, you see one that... Uh, Without a, without a doubt, the biggest landmark so far. Currently several feet above it, you see flocks of birds circling below, and in the distance, you spy your prize. The place that you guys all been promised to go to. And you see the magnificent view of Callum Academy. The size of this school is comparable to what you would assume as a military base, with three large white buildings separated from one another in different directions. You see a few smaller structures with separate sections of grass, trees, and fauna in all directions covering majority of the area with locations, uh, a specific location that looked to be strictly made for uh, specific sporting activities. And after another 15 minutes on the train, it whistles and announces your arrival. It slows to a stop right in front of the school its main gates that are 20 foot tall uh, colored white brick walls with a black steel gate already open. You can see people of all ages uh, walking inside of the campus. The train doors slide open. Uh, and as you all evacuate, you already see a woman in a black suit holding a clipboard standing in front with a bright smile eager to uh, greet every last one of you. I think just... eyes are like bright, like they are sparkling. I'm so happy. I just find it funny because- I just uh... see Daichi in my head going like crunk. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we're stepping out and it's Daichi, Juno, and Don who are all bloody and there's Fiori looking great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's yes, her walks, skin. Walks out, flips his hair. He's got this skin routine that he does. I think it helps. It does. A barrier, if you will. Oh. Man must have been a pretty bumpy train ride. Yeah. <laughs> a little. The, 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 the woman uh, gives you guys a, like, a very delicate bow and goes, Hello. My name is Lyra. I am... One of the uh, assistants here at the academy, and before we get to do anything, I would like to know: Do all of you have your IDs on you? Oh, no. I got my. Alara, say if your name had to be spelt. 
There you go. Thank you. <laughs> and each of you would have IDs that you guys received yeah. in the mail not long ago. Uh, Juno not saying anything will pull out her ID. Mm. He's got his on full display. Fiore will uh, give a tiny bow back and present his ID. She uh, looks at all of them, scans through them. Wait, does Don pull out? Oh yeah, Don. Uh, she looks around for like a couple of seconds and then eventually does find it and pull it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, she looks at all of them um, and gives a nod and she hands them all back to you and goes, all right, with all of that in order, I am gracious, graciously welcome you all to Callum Academy. Before you guys try to mosey off and look around the campus, all students arriving must go to the auditorium for you to begin orientation. Alrighty, Daishi's like running on the spot. He's so excited. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> Let me guide you all. It'll be located at the auditorium, unless Daichi, you know where you're going. I mean, I could probably guess, but uh, I will, I will follow your lead, Miss Lyra. Lyra. It's Lyra. Lyra, Miss Lyra, <laughs> lead the way. And she will walk down the campus, which I'll assume each of you will follow her. Limp yeah, after yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the crazy receptionist desk lady energy. <laughs> Don oh. probably helps Juno because Juno's kind of like maybe lagging behind a bit because of the injury. Yeah, she'll she'll try oh. and wave her off and and straighten up a little bit. No, it's it's fine. It's okay. Oh, okay. Lyra mm -hmm. turns her head, looks back at you, Juno, and goes, "Are you motion sickness? Or the train ride was. I hope it wasn't terrible for you." It was a little bumpy. Do you need? Are fine. they like blood blind? No, no, no. The thing is, like, like. <laughs> so, like, how it's going is that I, at least how I'm doing is that at least currently you guys don't have like a lot of blood pouring off. No, you. we're um, just bruised. Yeah, you got like yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. She goes, well, all right. Well, do you need any type of? medicine or any medical treatment to ease it a bit we still have a slight bit of time before orientation begins i wouldn't want to delay us mm. well if you're still feeling this way i could send you to the nurse's office immediately after orientation to get that all settled sure mm. Mm. she'll look forward again and uh have you guide you guys to uh one of the uh, large buildings is the one, it's like you see three, one on the left, one on the right, and one in the center. She take you guys directly to the one in the center. And walking into the building. I just imagine Dawn and Fiori like holding Juno on either side and limping along and Daichi are like teleporting from place to place being excited and Juno just groans. <laughs> Daichi is like, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But you go into this double door, which you guys, if you guys, I'm assuming each of you guys have some form of education, you guys know, like, going inside, you see, it, it is indeed the auditorium, where you have uh, several seats all across the room, almost like a theater. Uh, but the one glaring thing in the room is this giant crystal that's floating in the ceiling, 60 feet above, that's illuminating this massive auditorium. It's a crisp looking room with features white walls and columns that stretch out from floor to ceiling with the white tiled floor that has a slight slope allowing spectators from the back of the stands to see the stage as well as the ones in the front um when looking around you already see a few students are seated the place is not as packed as you would have expected but it is a decent amount of people inside uh and this is just a flavor text. Do you guys sit next to each other? You guys did make this chance to act finally split off from one another. Mm -hmm. Yore is going to, uh, first of all, and mm -hmm. take out his totally not a Motorola Razor, a pink edition, and take a photo <laughs> of the crystal. And then he's going to split off, just waving his hand as he uh, separates from the group. Daichi's, like, looking in between all of them, trying to see, like, he was gonna supersize Fiore, and then Fiore walked off. So 
So he looks towards Don and Juno and sees uh, what they're doing. Don is just going to sit at the closest seat to them at the current moment. Juno's going to have one of her AirPods in and sit in the back <laughs> of whatever, <laughs> like the back row, and like propping her feet up on the robe in front of her. Like she's going to sit beside Don then and just smiles big at her, but doesn't say anything. <laughs> How come I've ended up in this situation twice? <laughs> I don't know, but you're great company, Don. Let's go. Don is designated Daichi babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> Not many people say that. You just adopted this dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But you all sit there and you wait. The place fills in just a little bit more. And the doors closes. And once it looks as if the place has been... Uh, if no one else is going to be coming in, the crystal uh, shine it dims, and the room becomes darkened. And then a single light shines down onto the stage to where the podium is placed. And walking from behind uh, the red curtain that's on said stage, you see an old man with gray hair, bushy eyebrows, and a long gray beard. He's tall and slender. And is wearing this bellowing, this billowing blue robe with matching blue sorcerer hat that is decorated with several yellow stars and crescent moons. He steps in front of the podium and takes the microphone, and with his booming voice, it catches everyone's attention in the room. As I need to stop this song, stop this song, play this song, just play this song. There we go. Um, sorry. Okay. And here we go. Good morning, students. My name is Yin Sid, the headmaster of Callum Academy. The faculty, staff, and I would like to welcome each of you to your new home. We here at Callum Academy are devoted to training upcoming key bearers who will help protect the innocents of the world from falling into darkness against our hated enemies, the Heartless. By attending this school, each of you will achieve something great. Because of your extraordinary potential, you each have already mastered controlling your Keyblade, common self-defense, and casting basic forms of magic. Now as you stand at the precipice ah, of your schooling careers, you will be facing challenges of not just technique or knowledge, but to see if you truly become a protector of the light. I read through every one of your documents and do not doubt in my mind that this year's newcomers are full of untold mysteries and possibilities. I believe I will see each of you here in four years on your final day at the academy as full-fledged Keyblade Masters. Now, I will introduce you to two important and prominent figures of the Academy. The Assistant Headmaster, Xehanort, and the Student Council President, when one of our four top-ranking students, Akira. <laughs> Daichi, like, looks to Don and points, that's my sister! That's not my sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Todd, your brain. <laughs> As Yinsen, Yinsen, uh began walking off the stage, uh, two figures uh, exit from behind the red curtain and head towards the podium. The first figure is a tall and muscular man with spiked silver hair that reaches to the base of his neck and bright yellow eyes wearing a white lab coat with a noticeable black turtleneck underneath, black pants and boots. The second is a tall, slender, endowed woman standing a couple, couple inches taller than the man who's walking beside her. She has back-length red hair and is wearing a red cardigan with a plaid skirt, black tights and red heels with noticeable, a noticeable blue wayfinder necklace. And between the two, I have artwork of him. 
of one of them. He is Akira. God damn. Whoa. <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> now, just so you guys can see the two siblings side by side, let me get a good dicey picture up again. <laughs> well, we know which one's the hotter sibling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my gosh. They have the same smile. That's adorable. And uh, the man you assume is Xehanort would grab the mic from him and said, while you guys can notice Akira was is looking at the audience as if she's searching for something. And just as Daishi's Xehanort- like, oh, right. Daishi's like waving his arms. <laughs> Donna's uh, like burying her head in her hands, like, nah, don't look <laughs> any next to him. <laughs> and just as then I was going to speak to the mic, you guys can see that your eyes light up. As you can see, her eyes are directed straight at Daichi, who's waving his arms. And she snatches the mic from Xehanort's hand and screams out, Daichi! <laughs> oh no, they're the same. And she goes, Hello everyone, my name is Akira, the school council president, and that's my baby brother, Daichi! <laughs> okay, now he's just embarrassed. He, like, he goes back a little bit. Shine the light on him! Shine the light on him! He's right there! She's right oh, there! Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Juno is okay. never more glad of the fact that we all separated from Daichi. <laughs> John Yori's is still like, hiding her face. <laughs> Yori's face palming and he's not even close to Daichi. He's just like, there's two of them. There's two of them! Oh, some multi Yeah, I know. Yep, give me a second. Yeah. I'll fix it real fast. Give me one second. Okay. My god. <laughs> so it's a family thing. <laughs> Genetics. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm 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 only looking at the Wayfinder necklace, you know? It's just it's a nice little touch. Sure is! Yeah. Alright, yeah. fix it. There we go. I don't know why I did that. Sorry about that, everybody. Alright. Um, and you see, like, not the light that's shining on her, but a second light shines down on Daichi. And, <laughs> and, and, um, and you'll see. And Daichi, you'll see. You see other students all looking at you that's in their seats. He like gives- oh, you know what he does? He gives a little... Tee-hee! <laughs> tee little emote. That's, that's him. He's like, so embarrassed. And she goes, Now, all of you better study hard, because there is no way my kid, baby brother, is going to lose to any wannabe that got lucky attending this school. Oh, no. <laughs> Just let you know, he's going to take the top spot. So best of luck to anyone who had any hope of taking that position. Yori is rolling his eyes hard. Juno, Juno snorts disbelievingly. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. And with that... By the end... He's... At the end of it, Daichi's like curled over in his chair, just like hiding. <laughs> he's doing, he's doing the fucking Evangelion chair pose. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see Zeta, like he gets the mic back from her. Like he gets it out of her hands. And he just like it clears his throat. <clears> throat> As said by the headmaster, my name is Xehanort. And I am your assistant headmaster. If you need anything, I'm always available. And if you require the headmaster and he's unavailable, then you come to me instead. I have worked for this school for over a decade now. 
and I understand that each of you here is for, are here for different reasonings. It's silly to assume every one of you came to Callum to become paragons of good to fight against the heartless. Some of you are here for selfish reasonings, and there is no shame in admitting to that. Fame, glory, recognition, or just to obtain power, I don't blame you. This is a gift we all have to be picked to wield these artifacts and the power they give us. But attending this school is to discover what you truly want in your final year. What you seek now may just be a stepping stone for something you never thought you'd ever want. And you guys will see Akira will be handed a second mic. And you see she taps it a bit before speaking. While here you expect you expect yourself not to expect yourself not to get along with your fellow peers, like like any school, prepare for drama, possible fights, and unfortunate circumstances that would be out of your control. But it's okay. You make mistakes so you can grow from them and get to know your classmates because you don't know who would you be a friend for life. It's going to be tough, but I know each of you can do it. I wish there no word give her a nod and continues with those encouraging words I think we could continue to explain a bit of campus life here when exiting the train you're all of you should have been checked for IDs that you all received not too long ago as a reminder these IDs have your ranking your dorm and year and can be used as credit cards for you to spend anything on this in the city. If you reach down underneath your seats, you'll find our school syllabus. Each syllabus will have a map of campus, our rules and regulations, and you all must follow. It will also have your schedules and homerooms. I'll let you know that each of you, each of your courses are in different wings of campus, some even being off campus and in the city. If you cannot follow our rules, you will be punished accordingly. And while attending this school, you each are held to a high standard. Regardless of how you may feel about this title, you are seen as protectors of every world and are seen as an example on why we must never succumb to our negative emotions. For the first month, you freshmen will have the entire campus to yourselves to get comfortable and familiar with the school grounds. Akira and your dorm counselors will be the only upper upperclassmen on the premises until the following month. Regarding your dorms, more information will be explained to you later by your dorm council this evening. And with that, I believe this will conclude your orientation. Remember students, we seem hard at times, and you may feel yourself being treated irrationally or harshly compared to others. But know that we care for each and every one of you. We want the best for you. Now please, immediately head to your home classroom and wait for the following structures from your homeroom professor. You are all currently dismissed. On like doesn't know if she's supposed to clap or not, so it's like holding her hands up looking around. <laughs> you're here like awesome. it's quiet initially and then you're here one thing you know, like one clap like and it must have to clap afterwards. She knows it's not clap. <laughs> Saichi eventually gets over his embarrassment and starts clapping very quietly. She already claps. Now you guys We'll go under your seats and you grab the syllabus. I wouldn't be surprised if Dawn fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very fast orientation. Um, but you grab it, the syllabus. I don't have the map of the school just yet. I will eventually. Uh, just not now. Um, but you do indeed see the rules and you can even see your school schedule. Now, I'll show you the schedule first because that's the least lengthy one. So here you go. Um, okay. If you want to try and keep track of this, I would try to put it down below in one of the sections so you can just grab it really quickly. 
So these are your classes nice. and your structures, times and stuff like that. Oh. Um, you guys are class 4D, and here are the rules. And um, we're going to go over these one by one so we can all have an understanding of them. Uh, boop. Okay, so. Um, sorry, I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. There we go. Um, so with campus curfew, student must attend all classes. Meals. Also note, the rules oh. are not meant to be broken. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't break the rules, please. I mean, you can. I don't give a shit. But, <laughs> campus curfew. You must attend all classes, meals, and assemblies that are scheduled for. Only written or verbal permission from your dorm counselor or professor can excuse apneism. Uh, if a student skips classes and is caught, will be disciplined. Students are free to travel to Destiny City after classes until curfew, 10 p.m. When they're expected to be back in their dorms to at Callum. On Saturday and Sunday, they may be uh, from after breakfast, 8 a.m. until curfew, 10 p.m. on the same day. Student must be in the dorms and bed by 10 p.m. And students must not leave their house, common rooms until 6 a.m. Uh, while on campus, visitors to Callum must obtain permission from the headmaster or assistant headmaster. This includes friends and parents of students. Students are forbidden from faculty areas. This includes the kitchen, faculty lounge, the offices, unless with the escort or written permission of a faculty member. This also includes classrooms when a class is not in session. Uh, student council members may enter the facility for faculty areas if investigating another student violating the rules. Student council members may, uh, may be out of bed after hours and scheduled for patrol duty. Students may... Oh, give me a sec. Uh, you know what? This song works a little bit for now. Um, students, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. may not enter the common rooms of dormitories or others than their own, unless permitted by dorm count by dorm counselor. Each common room has a prospect a protective measure to place to restrict access. Students shall be in uniform at all times while on campus grounds during classes. Alcohol and tobacco are strictly prohibited on Callum grounds. Uh, and the last thing is. Keyblade rules. Keyblade rules should only be used by students concerning schoolwork or approved extracurricular activities. Students always have the right to use their Keyblade magic to defend themselves or to respond to an emergency. Dueling may only be performed during the dueling arena under the direct supervision of faculty members or dorm council. And those are the rules. Let's see how long Beautiful. I'm able to remember those and we actually follow those. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh there are boy. a bunch of rule breakers, am I right? What are your cafeteria no. rules? No cafeteria <laughs> rules, apparently. Okay, we can't believe this is a sad song. I don't want to do this. Uh, let me just play this again. We wouldn't it know. must be a buffet then. Yum. No. Unless we order, do we get meal tickets? Good fight! Do we got Uber Eats? Uber Eats. Just, well, let's see if we can get the lunch. I don't know if we're going to get the lunch today. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh... As you guys exit the auditorium, you all begin to walk through the packed halls and open your handbooks and search up your homerooms. And one by one, eventually, you guys do find said room. Uh, let's roll a d4 to see. Everybody roll d4. So let's see who actually shows up first. Oh. If you tie, re-roll. Ah. Oh, oh, shucks. Well, there's process of elimination. Uh. <laughs> uh, let's see, Don got a one. Daichi got a three. Uh, Fiori got a four. So that means Juno and Don roll again. No, Juno oh. and, uh, and Daichi, sorry. Right. Oh, oh. Okay. you know what? Fuck it, Daichi and then Juno. Go last. So. I, I like the idea of Daichi and Fiore showing up at the same time again, yes. and then like over each other trying to get through the door. <laughs> oh, this is nice meeting! Right, nice meeting you here. <laughs> um, but Fiore, you make it to the the room first. Of course. And as you find a room that says uh, with the letter and number four D on it, you open it up. And here is the map for it. Ooh. And you already see someone in there. What <gasps> the heck? I know face. that person. 
It seems like she's the only one there. Uh, uh, Sienna, what would you be doing if you're in a class all alone? Done. Uh, done. I'm excited. <laughs> I figure she would actually be trying to prep wrap the room for the faculty. Like moving chairs down. Oh, okay. So, Fiore, you see, uh, you see, uh, Siana doing so and putting syllabuses on the desk and moving books so you see her working in stuff the stuff like that hmm. okay all right this is a little sussy wussy okay so oh my goodness yori will and he doesn't see her at first i feel like he's just the kind of guy like if you're not my immediate vicinity, I'm not gonna pay attention to you. But he is a goody two shoes, so he's go he's go sit over here. Look at him go on that chair, right there. There you go. Wow. So oh, he's on table. <laughs> I'm over there. <laughs> he's not a table sitting man. And he's getting his stuff ready, and he does he does look to his left and and does see Siana, and he kind of squints and. He's like, he doesn't know if he should say something. It's just so awkward. Uh, and for once in his life, he's going to make small talk. That's not him being a shitty person. Oh, so I'm sorry, really fast. I, yeah. I'm going to show a picture of Sienna, but this is an older version. So I forgot to add the new one, um, oh. which I will do next time. So yeah, this is her. This is the older version. I need to add the new one. Um, next session, I'll show it then. But yeah, this is her. A more full body. She uh, kind of takes a glance, gets kind of freaked out because they are looking at her, and then keeps working. Oops. I'll let everybody get a good glimpse of the beautiful Tiana. Beautiful. Like and Fiori gets a little awkward. He looks at her, looks down, looks at her, and he's like... Um, uh, hi, are you, are you part of this class, or, he just lets the question hang, <laughs> he doesn't know what to say, he's so awkward, I loved him, she kind of glosses, then kind of slows down their work for a second to think, then just goes yes. Cool, cool. Um, we And then goes oh, back to oh. setting up. Oh. Fiori feels so awkward. He's so not used to this. At this point, he's just begging somebody else to come <laughs> through that door. He's like, this is going to be a very strange question, and you might. I think I'm a little bit of a freak. I assure you, I am not a freak. I am a very normal guy. Um, but were you were you fighting anything before the assembly? He he's just like he just like his shoulders slouch, and he's like, "What the what the fuck am I even talking about?" Nana's <laughs> brow furrows, totally thinking he's a creep at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baby. Like what on earth? <laughs> oh, well. Fiore. No, I was with the vice headmaster earlier today and helping the staff. Oh, I'm not cool. sure why you would think such a thing. N neither would I. Um, what's your name? My name's Fiore. Sienna, she says, without even looking back. Cool. Cool. Um... 
Yeah, uh, happy to be in the same class as you. At this point, Fiori thinks he's lost his mind. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I need that Daichi guy or, or someone else. Tell me I'm not insane right now. And he just goes back. He starts scribbling little stars on his paper because he doesn't know what to do and he's avoiding small. <laughs> so, um... I say a few minutes pass and the doors open up. You hear uh, from the back and you turn around and you see a um, a girl around your age, around both of your ages. Uh, she has very bright blonde hair that's in a ponytail with like a, a pinkish black ribbon. She has like a little sassy on her, on inner hair, uh, these pink white earrings and she wearing this very modest uh, blue, um, Kind of like blue uh, shirt, has a strap of a bag around her shoulder. It was bright blue eyes, and she walks in. And she notices both of you, and she gives off a very uh, a, a small wint, as in she just wasn't expecting people. Um, and this is what she looks like. Oh, <gasps> um, cute! Oh my god, her hair accessories are. So And she will very Sienna glances and then looks away without saying a word. She'll notice, get very sheepish, and then make her way over to this chair here and quickly open up her bag as she sits down and gets her bearings together at her at her seat. Fiore looks behind him, hoping, hoping it's one of the other <laughs> three people who are with him to hopefully think he's not going crazy. But when he sees it's just a blonde girl, he like audibly sighs and puts his <laughs> hand to his forehead and like, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, I'm not seeing things since the first day, how can I be seen? Oh, great, am I sadnest. <laughs> <laughs> And not long after the door opens yet again. And Fiore, you look over and you see none yes. other than Daichi walking to okay. the room. Okay. Ask and you shall receive! <laughs> uh, uh, shut your hole. <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> bursts into the room is gonna make Sienna jump a bit and drop the syllabus paper she was holding all over the floor. Oh, Daichi's like, oh, I'm so glad I found it! Welcome! me to this beautiful classroom and then he sees the, the papers fall and he immediately uh runs over to help uh he'll go help her pick them up it's um, like fiori oh. grabs daichi the back of daichi's hoodie <laughs> and pulls him over onto his lap and he's like daichi, look at look at her oh thank what? you thank you no oh, okay no no <laughs> <laughs> No, look at her! What she looks like! Oh shit. And he sees what, what she looks like. Yeah. And he immediately shuts the fuck up. And he tears no, up. No, Daichi, I need you to what? not shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and Fiore yanks his hoodie again and he, he whispers in his ear, Okay, you social fucking freaking freak of a social butterfly go talk to her get her name tell her if she fought any of those weird looking noodle guys and figure out what the hell is going on and i'm not crazy right now she's pretty sure freaking sure fiori is a creep <laughs> hold on did you talk to her already i tried Whispering. i did my best uh, what did she say I Nothing. She oh. said what her name was. Okay. Uh, this? That's it. I I was so social too. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. Please let me go. Fury lets him go, and uh, oh. it like kind of like shoes him off. Like, go, 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 go. Oh, okay, okay. He goes over and he uh and bends down and actually. To pick up the She's kind of kind of finalizing the setup and takes a scan over the room trying her best to ignore the others and then gives a kind of nod like proud of her work. <laughs> uh, did you do all this work yourself setting up the room like this? Mm 
just doing my part. Oh, that's very diligent and very kind of you. Um, sorry, uh, my friend over there, uh, may have approached you Not earlier. his friend! So Not his friend. Oh, okay, well, just ignore him. Uh, have Are we... you alright? Oh, I'm... Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Um, are, are you okay? And he starts, like, cheering up again. Uh, <laughs> and he sniffles. Um, have, have we met before? She's kind of taken aback and goes like... Oh dear, I don't believe so, but... Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Um. <sighs> Any kind of. Steel she takes stuff. out her bag and brings out some tissues. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He'll take a tissue. <laughs> Blow his nose. I'm sorry. I just you look like someone that I saw earlier, and she died, and I got really scared. But uh. Um. <laughs> and she dabs out... Daichi's face a little with the tissues. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so good. He's trying to stop crying, and she keeps making him cry. <laughs> I'm Daichi. It's nice to meet you. She gives an affirming pat on his back and goes. Siana. Oh, this is great. I'm glad you're here. Nice to play you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh... Kind of rubs him lightly in the back like they're there. Oh. <laughs> With that said. Uh, the doors open up once again. Uh, a little bit harder than everyone else's. Kind of like the the back of the door to slam against the wall uh, slightly. Um, and you'll see coming in is a let's see, a fairly short, uh, uh, I guess young adult woman. Uh, she has very long uh, purple hair, has a very bright smile, with these blue eyes. When it's a long black, uh, long sleeve shirt, and you can obviously see it's like there's another uh, white, uh, long sleeve sweater or something of the of the sort underneath, um, with a very large white collar as she uh, walks into the room. And this is what she looks like. <gasps> Oops, sorry. There we go. Oh, she's so, so cute. cute. Oh no. She walks and into the room. Oh god, another noisemaker. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes. She looked she she wasn't gonna speak up, but then she noticed the door like get slammed against the wall and she looks at the at the door. You see she puts her hand to her mouth and goes, Oh. Oops. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to I didn't think they were swinging like that. Uh is this? Okay. I is... did that too. Oh, cool! It's not just me then. No. Uh, <laughs> is this class four D? Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, no. show. <laughs> yes, it is. Four D. Four D. Four D is not. <laughs> no, Fiore. <laughs> Yeah, you say that. Do you say that? You actually say that? No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the girl, she walks, she holds her like her. You see, she has a syllabus in her hand and she grips it. And she's she, she, she happily. Everywhere, and Siana is trying to lightly keep Daichi away from her clothes as he keeps clinging. <laughs> the girl, like. <laughs> Like very happily skips down the aisle to where the majority of you guys are. She goes, "Oh well, I guess we're all gonna be classmates then." Yeah, I'm Daichi. Who are you? Daichi. 
Oh, that's not music. I want no. <laughs> what? That's so oh god, for some reason. To be honest, we haven't been hearing the music. <laughs> wait, wait, why'd you tell me? <laughs> because you've been on a roll. <laughs> god damn it. Okay. All right, let's try this. There we go. Okay, she goes. Our face stole a picture of perfect confusion, trying to like give a hint of I don't know to the classmate. Oh, uh, well, hey, Daichi, I'm Perry. And. Perry, nice to see you. What's your name, guy? She points at Fiore. Fiore rolls his eyes. He's had enough of this shit already, and it's just started. He's like, he puts his cheek on his hand, his elbow propped up, and he's just like, Fiore, welcome to the class of not lunatics. And this behind me is Ziana. Hi, oh, Ziana. I like your dress, Ziana. It is nice to meet you, Fiore. Are you okay? You look like... You look kind of... I just imagine like their head in their hands, and they kind of look up, and you just see Fiori bloodshot eyes. <laughs> you don't look Please. the best guy, are you alright? I look better than anybody else in this class, so I don't know what you're getting at. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that one, but that's a funny joke though. Then who do you think is the best looking one in this class? Well, you're looking at her. No! <laughs> oh, Fiori like leans back in his chair. Crosses his arms, crosses his legs, and so want to put it up to a vote. Um, I think mean, I'm gonna win. As she flips her hair, I don't think anyone's gonna vote for a guy who can't even tuck in his shirt. <laughs> oh, he already stands way. up. He's his face is flushed. He's like, it's 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 on purpose. It's a fashion statement. Uh, <laughs> who taught you that? Your five year old brother. I don't have a five-year-old brother. Oh, so the only just... one I know in this classroom with a sibling is that red-haired freak over there whose oh, sister told him and said he was going to be not one out of no, all no, of no, us. No, 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 and no, no, I no, think no, no, instead no. of putting ourselves up against each other, we should be against him. He's just trying huh? to deflect it off himself because he doesn't have a good excuse to why his shirt isn't thin. She like runs to the other side of the table and ducks behind it. Daichi! Fiori! Sienna is going to stand up a bit, pat down her clothes, and offer a handshake to Perry, saying, I love your outfit. <laughs> she shakes her hand and goes, Oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much. I guess I have one vote already. Fiore. I'll show you. Not even everybody's here yet. Look, it's a practically empty classroom. One vote out of, I don't know how many people are here. Thirty. Nothing. She shrugs. I don't know. Uh, I need. Wow, Please do quiet down, though. It's not befitting of a classroom environment. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Got a little, sorry. got a little excited there. Got a little annoyed there. I'll quiet it down. Hmm. I think I'll sit right here. Is that okay with you? Feel free to pick out a seat in the meantime, though. <laughs> Sorry, that you wanted to sit. I was uh, just next to Fiori. <laughs> I like, I like how Poppy is staying. Soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I like how Poppy is staying in her lane. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> She's like, yeah, no. Uh... The doors will. The door. Well, the door is already completely open because of what Perry did. And Don, you just casually walk in. Okay. Die off of here! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> he already like crosses God! his arms to make an X and is like, "Don't do it. You'll regret it. Don't do it. You'll regret it." She she stands kind of like looking between the other side of the classroom right at the back and then the people at the front wondering if it is socially acceptable to ignore it. Um, but she will eventually make her way down and sit right beside. But as she does that, she'll, <laughs> uh, yeah, she'll look over 
And then as she's sitting down, she'll stand back up, like, confused, tilting her head to the side, and then call over. You. Honestly, I'm surprised What's your relationship with that old man. Back? <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. But, uh, Don, can you say it again? I'm sorry. Say it one more time. You. What's your relationship with that old man? <gasps> can't just ask that. Oh my god. <laughs> I, 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 do you guys not want to know? I do want to know. I've been oh, trying yeah, to figure it out this entire time. Paul, just asking. I, tr I tried. I was a really big social butterfly just now. Uh, uh, Sian, I don't know if you know, but that was directed towards you. Uh... Oh, shoot. Who? Uh, what Dawn said. She said, what's no, your... No, she's asking who back. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> For the old I'm man. Gonna, I'm gonna shut up. The, the, the old man... Like in the in the space I'm and sorry? in the darkness. I don't. I don't. Like, I, I never. I didn't. I didn't catch his name. How many old men do you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, there it down. Excuse me. What? <laughs> Todd. Todd. I don't think she knows. Well, I don't know his name. So and his appearance was really covered. So I don't really know. Like, like on a scale of one to ten, how many old men do you know? <laughs> She's going to, like, look around the room frantically and look at Perry for, like, any sort of anchor. Perry just looks very confused with the the out-of-pocket question. And looks over at Dawn and goes, Um, I don't know if you know this, but that's kind of weird. <laughs> no, but I saw her with an old man. <laughs> I can vouch. Perry and Sianna just both shrug simultaneously. Uh, okay. Don't don't worry about them, Siana. Uh, they're kind of weird. <laughs> don't worry about it, guys. I don't think she knows anything. Oh. Also, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, that... you look like someone I knew who knew old men. <laughs> oh, cool. I'll leave it alone now. Sorry. Sianna just thinking, wow, is this really going to be my first classroom experience, this mess? Perry just looks at, <laughs> at, at Sianna and goes, You know what? Don't worry about her. She's obviously she's going to be the weirdo in class. Sianna <laughs> <laughs> just kind of nods slowly. Not even sure what to say at this point. The next person walks in. Just uh, weird people one after the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, three for three. Yeah. Uh, where is the picture? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Judo's are only saving grace. Oh, that's not gonna happen. We <laughs> 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 uh -oh. like pretty much burned and salted the fields. Like I don't think anything's growing. <laughs> See this woman walk in next. Oh, hello. <gasps> hello. Hello. You kind of see Sienna's little wings kind of wilt. Oh. oh. She. Looking for the picture, she looks exactly the way she does. Uh, just scans the room. Um, she will push her glasses up a bit as she walks inside. And. I guess, like, what's, what's everyone's expressions as she walks in? Like, what, what does she sees? Oh, boy. Uh, I think today she doesn't hear music. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Well, for starters, <laughs> one is sobbing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, today she's, like, looking between Fiore and... and uh, the other has their head in their hands. <laughs> oh, Fiore, Fiore has now whipped out his not Motorola Razor Pink Edition uh, flip phone and is now just scrolling through all the pictures he's taken since he's gotten the phone because he needs to ground himself in reality. <laughs> For him. You should have <laughs> taken a picture of Shiana. Didn't think about that, did you? Nope. You were too busy <laughs> getting mauled by shadow bitches. 
<laughs> well, she'll make her way over to this seat here. Plays her her materials down onto the table and looks at Nara and goes, I hope you don't mind if I take this seat here. Where are you taking it? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I sit here. Oh, it's not my chair, so I don't mind. Am I supposed to introduce myself to you? <laughs> Good old time! <laughs> Maybe she wants to sit one seat over instead. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want introductions, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if each of these tables are like your lab partners, how tragic would this be? Oh no. <laughs> God. It's fucking terrible. Alright. One more person walks in next. Oh. Uh... Where are they? There you are. Um, where is it? Oh god, I keep misclicking. Stop it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hello. Mm. Oh, he doesn't have a name. What did you put That's in the, the NPC same. soup? <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> It's uh, really good. We're all getting intros like an Atome game right now. No, we'll see. When he enters the room, Sienna is going to stand up as they come and like, please take a seat. Mm. He has his hands in his jacket pockets. And he looks around and says, I can take any seat. Free range. <laughs> any open seat. I like your style. Oh, thanks. I like your hoodie. Thanks. <laughs> Pretty cozy. Personality going to be hoodie like. <laughs> <laughs> he'll go over, he'll sit here, sit in his chair, and goes. Oh, shit. You know, I will say, I feel like this section gives off the most. Uh, relaxing energy. Definitely. It's a row uh, full of testosterone. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ha ha ha. That's what you sound like, Daichi. Okay, okay, well, okay. You don't have to say it like that. You can sit there, though. What's your name? Um, He looks at you, Fiore. And he looks at you, Daichi. Uh, so what's your name? <laughs> Daichi, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, Daichi. Puts his hand out to shake it. Shake! Yori gives up. <laughs> <laughs> this man really not gonna say his name. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say, I was, he's ignoring Fiore because he's like... Exactly! He like, gives kind of, up. Kind of he's a... going back to his Motorola Razor. My name's Choco, by the way. Is, uh... Um, is he a friend of yours? Of the guy behind me? Yeah. Yeah, we're friends. Oh my god. That's friends, actually. <laughs> no, we literally just met today. Oh, shut up, uh, Fiori. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. You know, the old saying goes, a friend of a friend, but, uh... Yeah. You know what? No, I'm fine with that. That saying <gasps> is perfect. Yes! No, I, I, Daichi, huh? you literally don't get the clue. You literally don't get the clue. You literally don't understand what sarcasm what missing? is. What missing You're here? missing so much. You know what? Talk to your little new friend. Get along with him. He'll be your classmate partner for all four years. Fiore. And he turns Daichi. to Fiore and he, and he puts his hands on his shoulders. Don't touch Do me. You... 
Okay, sorry. He takes his hands away. Do you not like me? That's a question. <laughs> we didn't answer it! She I goes, think we <laughs> You walk in to see these two as normal bickering. Okay. She'll scan the room. Notice the girl we've been looking for. Juno's going to stand up and see Juno, and once again give them the same instructions she got from the teacher. Ah, uh, I see. And Thank you'll you. see her little wings flit up a little in excitement. Oh. Uh, thanks. And she'll walk down the aisle, and then she'll kind of look at the other three, and look at Shiana and like Zian Sienna and like Sienna and ask like and look at the three again and raise a questioning eyebrow. Don't worry, she then, doesn't know the so old man. Gives a <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah, no. <laughs> Fiori looks so tired. I think Juno out of anybody can tell how tired Sienna he looks. It's between them and they get worried again. Uh, oh. Juno will just walk forward and be like, thank you for the helpful instructions. And she'll just sit down in the chair. Wow, I know more. Uh, and then... <laughs> She'll be like, I'm assuming you're helping out the teacher. What's your name? My name's Juno. Sianna. Sianna. Nice name. Juno so smooth. Thank you. I like your name too. Thanks. Hi, my name's Perry. Hi. She's gonna give a really warm smile. Aww. Uh. <laughs> Great uh. group of friends we got here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like so awkward. Uh, Juno. Does Juno doesn't... look injured at all at this point? Juno probably still looks injured because she refused to go to the nurse. Um and just had moseyed her way around to the thing. Uh, she doesn't exactly smile back, Sianna but she will not be right. Oh goodness, are you okay? Just a little roughed up. Heck, I'm like checking my medicine skill, thought Al. Are you looking for a medicine skill, or are you looking for, like, a healing spell? Is it even worth using a healing spell? Mm. Can I? Only for flavor, Yeah, only to for be flavor. Honest. If you don't want to waste a spell slot. Sure. But yeah, I'll allow it. Flavor away. <laughs> So it would be under your actions. You no, 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 see. you don't have to, you don't have to do all of that. Oh, it's fine. okay. Yeah, fine. All right. She's going to try to mend the bruises a little. Aw. Um, With like a bright glow. Oh. Juno will kind of raise a dive out. Oh, interesting. You have some healing magic? I hope that helps a little. It does. Just a bit. Mm -hmm. Say, uh, you're a new student too, right? She's gonna bring a band-aid out of their bag. Aw, that's Aww. cute. I don't know if you have to repeat your question or not, Tisha. And while she's oh. answering her, she's applying the band-aid. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm new, although not new to the campus. Ah, so you've been here the entire time. You didn't arrive on a train like some of the other students?
That's right, but today is the first time they are actually letting me start as a student. Ah, oh, exciting stuff. Sorry for the 20 questions, you just seem super you familiar. You she's really excited. Yeah, okay. Ooh, well, she's cute. From her wings uh -huh. kind of flapping lightly. Mm-hmm. Um, does this happen? Mm -hmm. Uh, one student flocks in. This is what he looks like. Oh, okay. Ooh. Banger after banger. Aga brat. He walks in very, not high energy, but just more so just, just you can tell this dude's like just, uh, Smiling ear to ear as he looks around uh, every seat, sees everyone. But he'll make his way down this aisle and sit here. And once he does take a seat, uh, you'll see uh, Poppy. She looks at him. She looks startled as he takes a seat next to her. And she's uh, trying to like scoot slightly away from him. He goes, oh, <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you like that. I just, you look kind of lonely here. So I thought I'll. Give you a bit of company, if that's okay. And she just sheepishly shakes her head quickly, like up and down, and whispers to him under her breath, which so low, you know, you don't even you're like right behind, like in front of her, you don't even hear it. Oh man! And he goes, "Sounds like a playboy." <laughs> just... And he goes, "Ah, oh, well, that's." Reassuring to hear. He looks at the room. Oh, I'm not sure if y'all have y'all introduced one another, or is that something that the instructor's gonna do once they get here? That's a great question. Um, uh, Daichi. Ah, Daichi. The instructor will be here soon. Well, oh. we will have a roll call. Oh. Ah. Makes sense. Then I guess we'll hold off names until then. Right. Not sure how you're gonna hold it. Don, <laughs> 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 you're so funny. Huh? <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> you crack me up. <laughs> I hate you, Daiji. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what a freaking dynamic. And you see, you hear loud and hard footsteps this time that comes uh, towards the door. And then at the front of said door, you see this figure breathing heavily, hair is wild out. Look like he has a bit of, he's out of breath. A few bits, uh, drops of the sweat is falling off him as he looks around the room. Oh, what a cutie. Zeke. Zeke. Zeke looks around and he immediately rushes down the aisle and goes up to Sienna and goes <sighs> Sienna is gonna get up and hug him uh, No, you can't go and try to butter me up. Where were you? Well, Pat him now, down and fix her hair. Well, I know where you were obviously, but Oh? I Thanks was here setting up the classroom for the teacher. And why didn't you let me know? I forgot the teacher name. You can't just be wandering off. I feel like she would know that. Well. Uh. <sighs> what was the name? Oh. What's the, what's the teacher's oh, name? Oh, I got you. I messaged you. Here you go. Gotcha instead of teacher, she said Professor Eden. Are they professors? Yes, they are. Okay. He will look around the class. 
and looks at Siana again. Or any of these, any of these guys giving you trouble? She's going to look at all the other, well, weird ones. Weird ones where? <laughs> Show me. <laughs> where? I think we've been very Prove normal it. today. <laughs> he turns and looks. I'm assuming she looks at And that. then just kind of say no, nothing at all, but like you can totally tell with a quiver in her voice and her wings. He looks over, obviously. She's looking at Daichi. Bad already. liar. And Dawn. She's giving him a big smile. Fiori shrugs. Mm -hmm. He will walk over to here and looks at Perry and goes, Hey, do you mind if we, if we switch seats? I kind of have a bit of an obligation to stay next to her. And Perry goes, Hmm. I think she's okay with me sitting here, and she looks at you, Siana. She's going to nod like, if it's okay, can you? Mm. Huh. Don't want to give her any more harassment than she always been having, but okay. And she'll move out the way for him to sit there. And she'll take the seat here. And you guys are all sit there. Some, mostly everyone isn't saying much. They're just messing with their stuff. Maybe Daichi's still fucking with Fiore. Um, You're not listening to her music. And eventually, after a bit of time passes, I'll take like 10 minutes, the doors were, will, uh, well, they're open, but someone will walk in through the doors. To which you guys would see a... Heck, now I regret asking for the seat change. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you can always ask again later, maybe. Uh, but you'll see... You could always sit beside me. Hey, do what you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's cool. uh, you'll see a woman come inside mm -hmm. with a uh, long loose black hair sharp she really wants to have seek there but she also wants to make new friends mm -hmm. mm. i guess we could see with the seat change afterwards but uh yeah sharp obsidian black guys she's wearing this white polo shirt and a black skirt dark pink blazer loosely on her shoulders and she has a noticeable um mole under her right eye as she walks inside the class uh, you guys can tell just the way she uh, holds herself and walks inside. You can tell that she is obviously one of the staff here and possibly your professor. And she walks up to the front, over to where the podium is, stands there. Um, and at the moment, I will have artwork of like every, any important NPC, but until uh, they will have just placeholders. So there. I will, yeah, let me just, boop, there we go. Show herself, and she'll put her books down on two set podium and goes, Okay. Hello, students. I, you've been told enough today, uh, but I'd like to personally welcome you all to Calum Academy. Uh, my name is Eden, and I'll be your homeroom teacher for the next four years at this academy. But before we go into any serious topic, I think we should introduce ourselves if we're going to see one another for the next few years. Just small introductions, nothing serious, nothing very long. Does, do we have any volunteers or do I have to select people? Ha 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 ha. Thank you, puts his hand up. <laughs> All right. Uh, hi, I'm Daichi! Sienna is uh, gonna volunteer excitedly, but she's not uh, as fast as Daichi. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Sienna. Um, <clears throat> I'll go fast. Uh, my name is Daichi. Uh, but you might know my sister, Ak uh, Akira, as the, 
uh, student council president. Um, I'm just happy to be here, that's all. See you on his turn. My name is Siana. I'm so excited to be a student here finally. I've been dreaming of getting to study under all the lovely staff here. I look forward to making friends with everyone. When Ziana says, Perry stands up and goes, Ooh, ooh, I go next, I go next. Um, my name is Perry. Uh, nice to meet all of you. Um, I prefer to use my magic over my keyblade, but don't think I can't handle myself in a fight. Uh, I also am trying to see if I can be nominated as best looking student in said classroom. <laughs> and she'll sit you got down. competition, Fiore. Uh... Eden goes, all right. Sienna yeah. like. Starts flipping through the student handbook. Like taking it so seriously. Oh, um, okay. She's so cute. Diligent. Like, did we have a nomination like that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes. Is it anybody else who wants to go? Or. Um. You'll see, uh, Brulee in her back stands up. He fixes his outfit a bit and goes, Hello everyone, my name is Brulee. I, um, obviously a new student here, but I've been trained with my Keyblade for a very long time. Um, my goal here is, well, a very simple one. I want to just be a Keyblade Master. But apparently from the orientation, he looks at Daichi, I might have a bit of competition on the way there. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet all of you. He sits down. Hmm. Eden looks around the room. Looks like no one else is going to volunteer, so I guess I gotta start picking people up. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. How about you? Up in the front, next to Daichi. Which one? Points at you, Fiori. <laughs> <laughs> Fiori sighs and he, he stands up and he's like, my name's Fiori. That's all you really need to know. Uh, though I will say I, I have an excellent skin care team. Um, and if there is a competition for the most well-looking, attractive person in the room, I would like to volunteer myself as a candidate. Uh, however, that's all you need to know about me. If you want to ask me questions, you can. Nice to meet you. Sits down. He struggles, stands up, and goes, I think I can go next. Um... Shoko, I uh, just started here, like, obviously. Um, uh, there isn't much to say about me. Other than, um, I will be taking this course very seriously. And I hope that, um, I can get along with everyone here. And he sits back down. To he claps a little bit. He just looks at you, Daichi, kind of like shoulders you a bit. Not hard, like just kind of give you a nudge, like, shut up. Aw, <laughs> oh, you have a bestie. Oh, shut up, nudges me right back. <laughs> Eden goes, all right, let's start with the ones, uh, the row right behind you. So, um, you, points at Carmilla, how about you go next? And she will stand up very, uh, professionally and goes, Hello, my name is Carmilla. Um, I have been using my Keyblade for a very long time. I am a former soldier here to perfect my swordsman skills in the arts of the Keyblade. 
Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the world at Atlantis, um, but that is where I'm from. And she will sit down before she do. She stands back up again and goes, "Oh, I'm. I hope we can all get along. Get to get to know each other well." <laughs> and she sits back down. Oh. Oh. Eden looks at you, Dawn. All right, next up. Um, my name's Dor, and some people say that it rhymes with Sean. <laughs> and she sits back down. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. Well. <laughs> oh, come on, Dawn. That rhymes with Sean. Do you have anything else to say about yourself? I, I don't know. Do you want, like, my gold or something? Sure. Why are you here? Um, that's well, not why I'm here, but my goal is to one day be invited to a Moogle tea party. They say I'm too big to fit, but I think if I shrink myself down, I can get I can get in the building. What are Moogles? You say that, and you... you're here uh, snickering in the room. I didn't Which... tell a joke. I don't know why people are laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm just confused. I don't know what the vocals are, Fiore. There, I don't know. I prayed to the god or something. Oh, is that what he's saying? I don't know, Moogles. They're so no, cute. No. Well, uh, I'm sure you can have a lot they... of teapots. We have many Moogles here on campus. <gasps> <gasps> I'm a big supporter of Moogles. I can't oh. wait to meet one. Are there any, like, in this class thing? Are they late? Uh, no. They mainly work as staff. Mm. I don't believe we have any Moogle as students. Well, we do have a Moogle as a professor, actually. <gasps> Which he, one? He's actually going Don't, like, to pulls out her schedule. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. He's actually going to be, um, uh, for your synthesis class. Let's see. <gasps> Mm, oh. Mont Blanc. Yeah, oh. you'll see him today. Amazing. Now, that is a very interesting goal. Uh, she looks over at you, Juno. Juno, oh no, don't you? <laughs> go ahead. Oh, you introduced me already. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> uh, Juno will stand up and be like, "Name's Juno." We're supposed to say goals. Hmm. I guess. I prefer that. All right. Light can't exist without dark, and dark can't exist without light. I goal is to be a balance of that. And then she'll sit back down. Hmm. Yes. Now we have. Look, we have one last person, and she looks over behind you. You know, to which. Uh, Poppy, she again startled to hear that she's singled out now last and she'll sheepishly stand up. You can see her arms are to her side and she's noticeably shaking. And goes, My, my name is Poppy and um, I've been here at the school for a very long time. But this is my first year actually being in the classes. Um, and she will very quickly bow her head in front of you guys, but when she does, she accidentally hits the table slightly with her head. <gasps> oh. Sienna is going to be like nodding and to be supportive. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she quickly rubs her forehead as she does so. And she Shock just, on her face. A small whimpering from her and goes... I hope we can be friends. And she sits down. And you'll see she just puts her head on the table. Oh! Damn it, what up? 100 points. Eden goes, are you, are you okay? Do you need to go to the nurse's office? And Poppy just... Can Sienna get up and check on her? Yeah, go ahead. Frantic. 
Oh, well, you can check up on her, and when you do so, you can tell that, uh, you look up, try to see her head as she raises it up. You can see she has a bit of a bruise on her forehead. It's definitely a, a mark on it. It's going to become a, a small whelp. She kind of tries applying some compresses and then puts a band-aid for good measure. Oh, thank, thank you. Then pats her on the back lightly and gives her a nod like, You did great. No, I, that was embarrassing. Sienna is going to look up at the teacher and give a nod like, Everything is okay. Eden nods her head. Alright. Well, technically we have another student, but she is currently assisting uh, another professor you're going to see later on today. So you'll meet her uh, later this afternoon. But... She looks over at Zeke. Do you mind introducing yourself? You're technically not in my class, but you will be, uh, as well, you know. And he gives a grunt uh, as he gets up, his back arched slightly, his hands in his pocket, and goes, My name's Zeke. I'm a second year here, and I'm going to be your dorm counselor for Valor Red. And I am the caretaker for Siana. So if any of you punks try to do anything with her, you have to get through me first. You got it? You got it, boss! He leads his back Siana in his chair. just claps excitedly like, good job. When she does that, he gets back in chair, leans in, and she says that. You see, he just gives like a he gives like a smile. Aww, what a great friendship. Eden goes, "Oh, well, nicely put, Zeke." Okay, well, now I can in guess I'll introduce myself. My name is Eden. I've been a professor at the school for the past, I say, four years. Not too long. I'm still fairly new here, compared to, well, uh, Xehanort or Yin Sid, or even some, most of your professors here. Um, I do enjoy new things. I like to kind of get a little bit of spending habit on my hand. And um, I don't know if any of you enjoy vehicles or, or rides, but I love to drive my motorcycle across the city. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Now, with that all said, um, now that we uh, have we know a bit of one another, uh, we can continue further. This academy draws students from all across the world, funded by benefactors from different worlds. We are tasked with the fundamental work of application of Keyblade combat, magic study, and understanding between light and darkness. By becoming a key bearer, it's dangerous. With a year of schooling, at least half of the students between all years loses their lives while on the field fighting against the heartless. This isn't a job for people with weak hearts and many who deeply and many who deeply understand they aren't meant for this line of work. This gift we have is very lucrative. Enough that despite the mortality rate, Students are enticed by the rewards for graduating from this academy to study. So, I will say this now for everyone in this room. I gave you a warning about what could happen if you continue down this path. This is your one and only chance for you to walk out now. 
Daichi's shaking a little bit, but he does stay in his seat. Don slightly pushes her chair back, looks around, and then realizes no one else is getting to move, so sits back down. <laughs> <laughs> Juno just has a blank face. Yori doesn't flinch. Every other student look very confident in themselves and don't move. With the exception of Don, you actually do see Poppy move slightly. <laughs> <laughs> but she... It's as if someone, as if she had like a, something kind of pulled her back down. It didn't like she did it on her own. It looked like she was like kind of forced back into the seat. Mm. Eden looks around the room to see if anyone else moves and with everyone else still in their seats, she just nods and goes, okay then, starting today, you all must live in the dormitory and everyone in this class will be in Valor Red Dorms with Zeke as he said before, as your dorm counselor. Starting tomorrow, you all will have to wear the school uniform every day while in class. Each, each of the uniforms should be in your rooms, but for today, you're fine. Ah! Next up, for anyone who isn't a resident of Destiny City, your connection to the outside world will be uh, re restricted. Uh, you can only travel to other worlds with the permission of your homeroom instructor, so me. Now, regarding your student IDs, at the start of each week, you'll receive an allowance of 200 to spend per week on necessities. But if you want to earn more, you can work a part-time job around the city or on campus. Around this time of year with a bunch of students showing up, I'm sure a lot of businesses will have positions open for you guys to... Hop in anytime you want, but the earlier you do it, the better. You have one month before the rest show up. And for the remainder of at least this year, I will also be your instructor for the basic combat tactic course. And we must take the monorail to the battle stadium for where the course will be held. But I don't have any lecture for you all, as it is your first day. So I'll allow you to talk amongst yourselves until the time for our next class, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Will do. Understood. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone else in the class is kind of look at each other, wondering if they have anything else to, to say to her. And Cormilla will speak and goes, oh, excuse, excuse me. It seems like this class is rather small. Are we the only... We can't be the only freshmen. I've seen more people back at the auditorium. I was kind of wondering that too. Have we... Has there all, always been this few students? Well... There is, um... More freshman classes. You guys are just, um... Class 4D. There are... Class 1A, 2B, 3C, and 4D. So there's more freshmen, just different classes. We can't really have too many in one because it become a little bit too um, hectic. And each freshman class are held in different dorms. So we'd rather have all the dorm, all the students in the single dorm all with, with one another throughout the course rather than separate them. Dawn raises her hand quickly and looks around. She nods her head at you. Since we're 4D, does that mean we were deemed like like the lowest scores? Like, did we do the worst? Because usually, like, 1A is like the smart kids. Oh. And then it kind of decreases in, right? I'm just curious. No, 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 no. That's not how it is. It's just how the setup went. That's all. Oh, okay. Oh, you, good. You all are treated equally. At least the freshmen. <laughs> hmm. Um, I know there are more actual things that you need to speak about, at least when it comes to your dorm, but Zeke here, I'm sure he'll talk to you about that uh, this evening when you all make it back to um, the dorms, so there's no need to really address that now. Dorm, dorm, dorm. So she's like quietly very excited. Once we're in the dorm, we can't swap, right? 
And We're just here. This you'll be in the Valor dorm for the rest of the school year. Dorm, 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 dorm. Pay for upside. Oh, I was just gonna tell Dad to shut up. <laughs> uh, is this where Shanna, see, Sienna can explain to Zeke and Perry why she adores Zeke, but also really wants to become friends with Perry and wants to switch seats again? Oh, so I'm sorry, I didn't. Mm -hmm. but okay. Zika will look at you, uh, Sian, as you say that. And he looks at Perry, who is just looking at him with sparkles in her eyes. And he goes, Ugh. All right, you already heard my warning before. Don't try anything. She's like, yeah, 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 whatever. And she sits next to uh, Sianna. And Perry will speak up and goes, well, since we're not really doing anything as of yet. You'll still be right here with me, Zeke. I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. mm. He kind of just grunts in his seat as they switch over. Perry goes, How, can we have the vote for who looks the best looker in class? Since we're not doing anything. Right? Oh, we can just get out right. the way now. How many times can you vote? Um, uh, Eden goes, well, it does sound a bit fun now, doesn't it? How many students do we have here? Let's see. Eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, it depends. How many people are going to be in this competition? He already raises his hand. Doesn't say anything. Perry goes, it's just obvious. Everyone else in class just kind of just shrug. Uh -huh. He goes, all right, well, Perry, Fiore, how about you both stand in front of the class here? And that would leave us with two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I'll also put in my vote. So how about each of you write down on a piece of paper who you want to vote for. I'll collect them, and then we'll all put it to a vote like that. We'll tally it all up. Is it appropriate for a teacher to vote on which student looks better? Yeah, that's a bit weird. <laughs> well, isn't, I don't want it to be odd number, but if someone else doesn't want to vote, we can always just do it that way. Oh, oh Wait, I don't want to vote. she drives a freaking motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, isn't odd number what you want for voting? That's true. Break a vote. Huh, that is true. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all of you, go up with right down. Wouldn't a tie be good? Hmm. A tie's kind of boring to me. Uh, <laughs> so we are writing down our votes. <laughs> she grabs a piece of paper and he scribbles down. All right. I just no, say don't, what don't, it don't say it. Don't say it. Send it to me. Send it don't to me. Don't say it. To me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you want to write it down and like send messages. Sienna starts sweating her hand shaking over the paper. Class. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Listen, the teacher's supporting it, so if anything, it's on her. Like, yeah. <laughs> Look at these answers. <laughs> she kind of quickly scribbles something down, then winces and holds the paper out as far away from her as she can when they collect it. Okay. She clearly regrets writing anything down. Oh. Let's see. Na, 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 na. Okay. Uh, Cootie, just send me yours and we can get, we can tally them all up. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to change mine real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to grab it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm just like, where? Just no, else. private message me on Discord. <laughs> oh my god, he's fucking. 
This is the competition I've been waiting my whole life for. Yeah, this, is, this is what we've been talking about for months, guys, behind the scenes. Uh -oh. <laughs> I put us on blast for our answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. I think that's the name. Oh, fucking <laughs> <laughs> All right. She goes. She grabs him. She goes back up to the, the podium and goes. Okay, so we have one vote for Fiore. <laughs> we have <laughs> another vote for Fiore. <laughs> As expected. For Terry. Another vote for Perry. Woo! We have one for Zeke. <laughs> oh! uh, let's see. We have another one for. She squints at this one. <laughs> Mont Blanc. <laughs> the Vulga! Um, we have another one, um, dark side, I don't know <laughs> what that means, uh, one for oh. both or nothing. <laughs> Well, this clearly has turned out very well. <laughs> Are you technically tied right now? Yeah, we still got two more votes. Okay. One for Fiore. Okay. Ah! And the last one is for Perry. So we are <laughs> a tie. And she stands up and starts clapping. <laughs> Glad we solved that one! <laughs> Nothing was <laughs> solved! Perry, does you see if she actually looks very upset, crosses her arms. Fiori also crosses his Deanna arms. Diana just averts her gaze to the floor. She no, just God, leaning back in her this. chair. Can't two people be really pretty at the same time? No! <laughs> no! She points at Fiori, come on, I look way better than this guy. Look at him. He look like he just woke up. That's part of the charm. You don't said. understand. It's not all about trying to look good. It's about waking up and looking the best that you can be. I also, you... if it didn't look like he just woke up, then he'd be asleep. It's... Don has a point. I don't want to hear it from Miss... I voted for a freaking Moogle. I know it was you. Leave Don alone. She didn't was... do anything except be a little that weird. That could have been anyone. You don't even know what he looks like. It's cuteness. All monkeys are cute. <laughs> it wasn't me, though. <laughs> Insight check, <Whatever>. Don. <laughs> Don, no deception if you're trying to lie. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my insight's a negative one. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I totally believe it was not Don. Perry looks at you, Don, and goes, Hmm. Sure. Uh, I totally believe her. Little weirdo. <laughs> oh, that was kind of the most interesting. At least some people think I'm pretty. I think you're pretty. Thanks, Daichi. You're that welcome. means a I lot don't... coming from you. Why does that sound so sarcastic? Nothing. Hey. <laughs> Why? Well, Daiji, what's your fucking problem? Nothing, sorry. sorry. I didn't, didn't mean to swear in the classroom. I'm not that kind of guy. But Daiji, what's your fudging problem? <laughs> well, I just, um... I just think you have an attitude, that's all. I? A little bit? Am I wrong? Yes. Girls, you're not wrong. Thank you! Daiji, I mean, Choco gets it! Yeah. So you clearly think Sorry. Choco's more attractive than me! That's what? not what I said! What? 
Also, it's not a competition. Why don't you go kiss him? Bro, what do you want about? What the hell? <laughs> Yoy, are you good? Uh, Miss Eden, can can he, like, not sit here? I, I got here first. This is my chair. Yeah, and you're kind of weird. You're kind of more okay, weird. Okay. Break it up. Break it up. It's fine. You're right. You're, you're pretty, I told you. So, take Did you that vote for me? I, technically. <laughs> you were the both or nothing one, weren't you? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, this is a lot of pressure. Sienna is making little doodles of every person writing down facts she learned about each person in her personal notebook, trying to learn how to be friends with everyone. A little profile. Oh, that's cute. I would say. Time will pass as uh, you guys are just mingling in classes. Wait, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Way dexterity. Okay, she draws well. Oh. oh I think that'd be sleight of hand or performance. No, that'd be a performance check. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Oh. oh no! Oh, oh no! Stick figures. Child scribbles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. And the Eva goes, okay, at the uh, about 30 or so minutes past, she goes, all right, so I think it's time for us to head on to our next course. Something I think <laughs> most of you here are excited to do. We're going to the stadium for some Keyblade training. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah. And she starts to walk forward. We do have to take the monorail to get to the stadium, though. So it's gonna just follow me. It may take a bit, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. And she All moves right. to walk out the room. And ah! <laughs> <laughs> And as you guys are walking out, uh, Fury. Don, not Don. Uh, Daichi, before you walk out, before you're able to walk out the room completely. How tall is Daichi again? Uh, oh. six. Uh, oh, six. uh, hold on. I'm trying to check something. Six one, I think? Or six two? Oh, we six two. Six two. Because I remember your sister six three. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't have her thing open. Okay, so you would. As everyone's already walking around, you're like walking out. Well, you feel a, a, a firm hand on your shoulder that stops you. And you see, uh, Carmilla is like the one that stopped you from leaving completely. Hi. Do you have a moment? Sure. What's <clears throat> up? Carmilla, right? Yes. And Daichi. Yeah. Well, Daiji, I just want to ask you a quick question on exactly. Uh, I was there during an uh, the orientation when your sister made that declaration earlier. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Well, I just want to say, is what she said true? Or are you truly um, as strong as she says you are? <laughs> I mean, I guess uh, it's the... We gotta wait and see, I guess, right? Uh, why are you? Are you? Roll deception. You know... <laughs> 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 he looks very nervous, like he's he's trying to be the 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 the, the person that his sister wants him to be, but he's very nervous about it. Uh, yeah. But are, are you are you also trying to be number one or? Back where I'm from, when I were when I was enlisted in the military, I was told my technique with the sword was flawless. Oh! I, I came to this school to see if I can improve that. But hearing about what your sister said about you, I'll admit I'm a bit excited. I get it. So you're looking for a sparring partner, right? In a very direct manner, yes. <laughs> sure, I'm looking forward to it. 
I'm sure, I'm sure you're very well trained. I think, uh, you could probably kick my ass. I mean, but, I mean, whatever. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Alright then, well, I'll see you out in the field then. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> She just walks past you, Daisy, as she walks out the door. Oh. Like, back. Oh, God, it's been a day. Most days are days. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. It's okay. Daisy, you, you got a firm pat on your back as Choco, like, looks at you and gives you a thumbs up as he walks out. Aw, oh, thanks, bro. As for the rest, follow through. I think we're in session right there. Yay! Pretty, pretty, pretty long. I didn't realize how long we was going until I looked at the time. I'm like, man, that was, that was a pretty time long session. Time flies when you're having fun. So, <laughs> thank you everyone who came out today. Thank you guys for all the support you gave us thank for this you. first debut session of Kingdom Hearts Malefic Road. We really do appreciate it. Um, I died. <laughs> sure did. Yeah, we only had two deaths today. Could yeah, have been I'm, worse. I'm holding your hand. I'm holding your hand, Cody. <laughs> um, I know I said it before, but I'll say it again just really fast for you guys, for anyone who's interested. But we will have sessions every other Wednesday. So it won't be next week. It'll be the week after we'll be back here. 7 p.m., same time. Um, that'd be our normal schedule for uh, our Kingdom Hearts campaign. But you know what is next week? Fate is next week Woo! on Monday. Woo! We're starting Yippee! much later than we did today. We're starting at, well, not much later, 8 o'clock. Just one hour more. Uh, but still. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Fate is coming back. But again, thank you guys for coming out today. We really do appreciate it. We're going to... Uh, who should we raid? Who should we give a little support here to? Mm. Mm, so we got Toffee, Alico. That's only two people I can see. Unless anyone else has a recommendation. Uh, let me check real quick. I don't think so though. Okay. Well, I Either I, one. Yeah, let's just do Toffee. I haven't we haven't raided her in a good bit. So, guys, let's go give Toffee support from us. Give her a good old hello. Give her a good old raid message here. You can choose between the two. And with other than that, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.